Hello and welcome back to Star Sector. And then the last of all, we destroyed three pirate stations, uh, multiple doomstacks, uh, multiple vengeance fleets, and also the occasional bounty or two. And uh, once all was said and done, I think we uh, blew apart at least the 100 ships or so. <laughs> yeah, well, that was interesting. Uh, but yet the pirates keep coming no matter where we go because they have at least the five also bases remaining in the posse sector. And they know exactly who we are and they also know exactly where we are, apparently. So that means we have some problems and we were also forbidden from taking over their uh, primary ship. Yeah, of course, why I could have done this regardless, but still, you know what I mean, because it could interfere with the storyline in one way or another, even though chances are we haven't even found this particular string. If it's even accessible, there could be a pirate uh, exclusive storyline in this game, I'm not quite sure to be honest, but at least all the assets seem to be in position uh, when it comes to Galatia, so now it's just a little bit of a waiting game until they get uh, started on their, um, yeah, space Stargate thingy here to reactivate them, whatever. Uh, I'm not too familiar with the uh, final details, but we have uh, some other opportunities if we want to talk to a space and anybody a system there's some place and we also need another troop transport because our nebula got blown to smithereens in the last fight of the last episode also uh, we head over to the junker place and see what's on offer because i have become somewhat fond of that um yeah uh, missile barrage thingy there to be honest the drone tender and we also need to retrieve some of our own drone tenders back from storage because we use them temporarily uh, to do some yeah cargo running and the atlases <laughs> i'm not going sure we do any space tracking i think we've become uh, financially independent for now and uh, okay so let's just see how we can continue and we also forgot to turn in our relics of course and maybe we get something out of the deal instead of these relatively useless abilities yes these uh yeah it's transproofers and whatever okay so really already okay uh so apparently we went uh, okay i want to take you the <laughs> Okay, wow. Oh, I thought it was at least a couple of in-game months, and now you're telling me we're already done with this? Okay. Oh, well, let's just see then, Sebastian. What's it all today? Right. Okay, very important development. Well, could be very important. Yes, I agree with that. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, but for now we want to maybe take a look at the uh, research options. And this time around we put this in this thing here, even though we don't have... Yeah, okay, 58 is not enough. <laughs> so, but we did it with 14 already, but still isn't enough, right? Okay, so let's just uh, dump it all in here and see what we can do. Shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully we can get more of this here. This is also ripped out of the artillery station and the pirate control, I believe. So 28%, uh, 26% even. So how many do we need for this? Apparently, uh, okay, so... <laughs> Okay. Oh, I'm not quite sure we can uh, contribute all the uh, relic components to this particular uh, project here. Project Spyglass. I'm not quite sure what we have them already then. Um, yeah, right. uh, let's just uh, see what's going on here. Yeah, well, wow. once more. Isn't it even been in game day? That yeah, is unusual given <laughs> yeah, tidiness and all, I think. Okay. Right, uh, collaboration. So, okay, well, apparently, uh, her predecessor was well connected before he was arrested and they killed him on person, I guess. Mm, ah, so it's a strike against the hegemony uh, black set, I guess. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> but we have the Marines, certainly, they're incidentally also with us right now. We didn't lose any Marines because we had some spare crew capacity. Okay, now, well, I think we just uh, wait for the entire briefing. Seems to be a better idea. Right, the weapon engineer at the Star Forge. Oh, Hybrosil is, <laughs> is the home system of the Tritachian Corporation, by the way. Uh, I tell me if we're going to sneak in there. Underpaid, right? Weapon, <laughs> also, weapons researcher, of course. Yeah, um, this is a good combination, baby. <laughs> Right, uh, credits that speak very well in this universe, of course. Maybe we can bribe someone else, I wouldn't uh, be above that, and neither should be status, of course. Well, that's not the plan. I mean, you've been relatively generous with the handouts up to this point there, yeah. Provost. Could also work on some other guys, I guess. Now, well, AI research, you know, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's what I figured. Yeah, we want to know on the uh, lead that would be quite uh, important, wouldn't it? And of course, it would be up to us to find all the uh, leads, right? Of course, it would be. I tell me this archive didn't contain any information. Are we going to talk to some shady uh, underworld uh, yeah, guys again here? I mean, <laughs> other than this guy. Oh, really? Okay, um... Yeah. 
Yeah, what about a hacker? Like, um, you probably know something, I'm hoping. Alright, I think that's uh, all we need for now. I think it's okay. And then we have another story there. This will probably uh, conclude in the activation of the uh, space gates, I suppose. I mean, that's at least my hunch. Alright, and then we talk to this hacker here and see if he hasn't uh, anything on full up to level. That would be swell. Now, yeah, he has placed pranks on the entire station, I guess. It's just this type of humor. Yeah, hopefully he do have all sorts of wonderful ideas because I'm a little bit at loss here. And, um, yeah. Yeah, what it was all about. I would like to hear about the entire story if you wouldn't mind. Poorly is the answer. Right, the highest, really? Oh, are we going to do some sneaking and. Oh, okay, that. <laughs> Oh no, as if we could already have seen what if it's over, so we have to go back to one of our uh, tiny ships with a tiny sensor profile and also keep that face cloak uh, vehicle with us probably, just to have any chance of sneaking in there, because the transport file that is we also found out doesn't work. The uh, pickets there won't pull away, just ignore the signal. If there are multiples, I suppose one is on station, the other one investigates. It makes sense to really think about it, but they never have only one, especially in their home system. Yeah, that's not going to be easy if this does involve indeed, but I think it will be involving. <laughs> well, we can be, uh, I suppose we can be a bit diplomatic. Yeah, we do indeed. Spirit of Blinds already, come on, guy. Of course, yeah, AI could recalculate, mm hmm of course. Indeed you have. Indeed you have, so of course AI. And Recalculate is also the most technologically advanced affection in the policy sector, so they have a beefy ships and we are using civilian grade or militarized vessels for the most part, so um, I'm not quite sure if we need anything else in our battle cruiser, if there's a fight with Recalculate, if uh, this uh, turns out to be a problematic uh, situation developing, I think it will be. Uh, okay, anything else? Oh, that's good to hear. I don't think they said the state secrets today. I don't think it's that easy. But I appreciate the optimism. Um, I don't think it was on underwhelming. I don't want to deal with the tech if it's possible. Okay, so we have some information which is great. Maybe there will be another follow-up and we can also maybe uh, talk to Sebastian Brief and see if there's anything uh, to follow up with. Maybe also our scientist because didn't we talk to him, did we? Or oh, I should say, pardon me, the man. Uh, do we do some jobs right now? I don't think we instead we worry about pirates primarily, right? Okay, but if it's uh, somewhat convenient, maybe take a look at that. Um, but it's convenient, certainly, but not for our current fleet, I'm thinking. Even though, yeah, back in the outskirts, we've seen some doom stacks on top of us. But I think we, if we need to do some jobs, we can do this later on. I think it's not a massive consideration. And then maybe also we can talk to her here, we brief. And, um, okay, so just some small talk. Well, it doesn't advance anything right now, I'm thinking. But okay, we can indulge in some small talk because, well, we have a couple of minutes to spare, don't we? I think she can be trusted. That's a stupid thing to ask. But, uh, yeah, what about your relationship with the hacker? Right. So he's very enthusiastic, of course. You know, the, he's not used to teamwork, I guess. <laughs> uh, but well, uh, never mind, ma'am. Yeah, everything good and well. Okay, so it's all we need from this current position, I'm thinking. So let's just see uh, what the follow-ups are. And yeah, apparently of pirates all over the place here. And at least we knocked out the pirate base closest to our home system. Of course, they have another pirate base uh, times two down below. Oh, and one of which actually knocked out at one stage, didn't we? And Brighton, oh, actually, Vidi has managed to get to level five already. It must be a really <laughs> Vidi good colony then. Well, they have probably have a shipyard back there. And we also saw that they managed to hold on to the station. We gifted them with the, uh, was again, the battle station orbit, yes? Okay, uh, 
Uh, yeah, what's all my situation right now? Because I need to set down this uh, Reuter thing here uh, before I forget. I think it was on a fancy new station. And we need 300,000. We have uh, 291,000. I guess what we can find it right now. So we have to wait for this one or two um, yeah, months. Yeah, I suppose one of the problems. So let's see about our accepted missions. And uh, just something I want to investigate because it's a different sort of story than I believe. And uh, we get lead here someplace. Okay, we had to uh, take a water level 5 colony. Right. Lovely. <laughs> An exactly type of person want to talk to. Okay, so it's in the same system, is it not? Yeah, okay. Um, this also another academy, and we also maybe want to get another administrator up to level one because yeah, uh, this industrial planning stuff is really quite good as we found out. Maybe there's someone uh, hanging out here nearby. We can use the uh, market search, whatever it was. I think it's a terrible idea. And unlike our opportunity, we can actually search for administrators, can we not? I think we need to look for administrators, the closest one, and so on and so forth. Get the idea. It should be sorted automatically. And there's someone right over here. Wow, this is a little bit can just drop and down here in Galatia. Uh, because there's also an academy. I don't think Galatia uh, includes any penalties, you know, any fines for college bug storage. Okay, that's good to see if we can just head over there. We briefly also take a look at their uh, shipyard. I don't think they have a shipyard. Maybe some items that would be selling to us. That would be right if this plan wouldn't it. Okay, I think with all we can master right now. The update is a bit too slow here to my, for my liking, but uh, I suppose. We have to work with what we have, right? Especially given that we are once again relatively pro, but at least we don't have only 40,000 to our name as the start of last episode. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Money doesn't come very easily, right? Or conquest mission, really? Against what exactly? The frozen board had too many and there's relatively underdefended star system, but it could be interesting. There's only the base reward. Yeah, we could probably tackle this, but it would, uh, of course, require to clear body the hedge money. Uh, yeah, so, but uh, <laughs> Jimmy Stardust would give us maybe some consideration, but probably not that much consideration. Okay, that's the Freedom's Administrator, no skills, so level zero. So we just uh, hire her and then we park her over there, I think, right? Okay, actually, she does ask for more money, so we maybe take a look at your skills here regardless, because it seems to be kind of intriguing. I think, uh, can, we, uh, can we train our administrators uh, more than just one level? Yeah, what can they do? You have plenty of operations. Uh, that's something we need really, why do we? We need industrial planning and planetary operations. Don't get me wrong, that's useful at all, but I think I'm not too concerned about invasions right now. Interesting. I think in this case, well, can we see the skills someplace else? It's said level one, but little else. So ultimately, we have to uh, talk to these people personally because there's no inter uh, interspace comes apparently. <laughs> okay, interesting. Uh, is there anyone else there nearby? Yeah, can we see this from here? No, not really, but it's okay. Um, that's unfortunate though. Okay, there are two freelance administrators at this place, so I suppose it would be a good stop opposition at the independent border. Maybe one of those is actually in, uh, yeah, maybe they already have the industrial um, planning thingy, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, but well, we can see what's going on, we can just set the waypoint, I think it's fine. Yeah, back here at the um, independent station. Let's so take a look at the shipyard while we're here, because we need another troop carrier, for instance, and uh, anything else, I think, uh, the weapons need to drop off someplace, also get out of the drone tents before I forget, it's probably good even to do this before this, we investigate the next thing and the storyline. Ja, yeah, do we have a troop transport around here? Uh, I see a freighter and there's another nebula. Well, um, I was looking for something little else. Even though it's cheap to operate and cheap to field, but I was looking at a proper troop transport, so we don't have to build in all the home mods, you know, that would be a good idea. Uh, but I don't think it gets from this place necessarily, because it's a uh, faction dependent vessel for the most part. Ja, yeah, okay, torpedo cruiser, will you? Well, it has... One have a barrage and 12 small ballistic Mr. Hardpoints. I don't think it's really what we need right now, do we? <laughs> okay, let's just head out of here and see what we can make happen about the situation with the administrators. Okay, some Reuters here, I presume, indeed correctly. And the invasion going on, and this time around it's the Reuters versus the Percy League. And then bounty here in response, I would figure. Okay, interesting. And hopefully, this very slow because of all the uh, slow ships, of course. That's good to see, because uh, no one likes Puffers, especially not me. But at least I've left us alone for the most part, instead of the... Uh, the <laughs> by comparison, the pirates are not more active, you know? Very aggressive in speaking of pirates. <laughs> of course, the jump point is right next to them. Yeah, what is this? Can we maybe take a look at this here? We have a brief, I mean, not in case of invasion, okay? It's a level 3 colony. It probably is a terrible in terms of hazard rating or whatever. Yeah, we have some mining, uh, but we can take a look, see, since we're right around the corner, right? And see if we can use our marines here, even if we want to. Yeah, we could transpond us on, they don't let us stop, we don't really care right now. I want to take a look at the... Yeah, okay, do they have any defenders? No, they don't have any defenders, and of course we have the... 
Wir probieren auf dem Way Out Match. Okay, warte einfach eine Grauen, wenn ich take a look at it before we get into haste divide. Okay, so the effective mass is a 96, because you can see the discrepancy, of course. They have some ground defense, but cannot be too beefy. Okay, let's just see. Ja, uh, yeah, so okay. Um, because there's some supplies, and they have a surplus of all, of course. Ja, yeah, what's the economy all about? Can we see this? I think it's, ja, uh, um, yeah, wir können die Info. Und der wie groß ist nur Administrator? Und der Hazard Rating ist only 175. And it's an open port because it's a pirate. The four type of thing. Der Freude drives. So, okay. Um, this was added by the Reuters Union. But of course, with every single faction can burn this if they feel the inclination. So, um, we have minus one growth because it's a terrible place. Are they even making any money? Because you cannot see this information as the public, of course. Stability 4. Yeah, who else is in the system? I uh, see Hegemony and there's an independent station and we could probably take with us here. Uh, do we want to do this? I mean, uh, I don't think it would be too difficult for us and we turned over because we have a declared war on the pirates, I guess. Have we not? I think we have. <laughs> Although I don't think I would make much use of this place here. It's relatively indefensible. It's of ground defenses, but uh, yeah, what else? Only one industry started no growth because the asset rating is high and accessibility is way too low. I think they're barely getting around here, right? Okay, the accessibility is free port, otherwise it would be level 7. That's not terrible. I think the Britons still could be able to make something happen with it. Also earn some money courtesy of extracting these volatiles. I think since we're here and, and I think we take ourselves up not offer, right? And we launch an invasion of this place and they have... Nothing of importance really, to be honest. Okay, wow, well, they probably will inflict some casualties, but we have plenty of marines, we also have plenty of artillery. So I think we're proceeding with the invasion. And they'll be aggressive instead of, uh, yeah, passive. So what do you have on the ground? The ground defenses, they help with their defenders, and they probably inflict some serious damage uh, if we try to invade this first. Mm, maybe an auto bombardment. I do think we have the ability. Yeah, we can use fire support, I think. We do have some fuel. And we do have actually electronic warfare, really. Okay, interesting. Ah, so we find different. <laughs> Okay, so this gives us what exactly. Oh, we need 30 supplies, and uh, okay, we tried it. I've never used this before, so that should give them something to think about. Also makes it slightly easier not to crack. And then we give our, oh, actually, um, okay, so then the units can be deployed, I'm hoping. So everyone seems to be a good fighting shape, everyone has good morale, that's what I like to see. So we uh, auto move at the last, uh, at the start next one, I think it's fine. So do we mount the front assault or the ground defense? It's probably not a good idea, but uh, bombardment immunes would have been used for anyway, right? So maybe the spaceport should be a good target, and the other uh, things, we, okay, there we go. So they don't have any artillery on the ground which is good. Yeah, okay, apparently we can only have a one squadron. Uh, yeah, interesting. So we can only have a one company, I think it says here. Really, it's kind of interesting. Maybe it's because I like someone else, or indeed not someone else. Okay, so we have overwhelming numbers at the uh, spaceport. It should give us enough uh, to knock this out, no problem. And the ground defenses, we can maybe attack from the ground instead of from uh, space. Or dropships, but uh, okay, we need to do something with plenty of people, and all of them are very well experienced. I think we should press the advantage when we have them, right? I think it's a good idea. So, okay, move them towards the. Uh, I think uh, these are not as um, yeah, important. I think uh, the I will move these people automatically anyhow. So, we commit a free uh, companies uh, to the uh, ground defenses. So we can do the problem, right? We're only spending supplies, and we can even get some free supplies. Um, and the problem, we can also cash in some bonus points uh, with the US uh, guys, because we've been running so much cargo for them. We should be able to get fuel as well as supplies at the discount. I think it's also supposed to work. Okay, maybe use this once in a while, right? So we uh, overwhelmed with our aggression down here at the uh, yeah, ground. Um, yeah, defense, whatever it was. So they have a defensive bonus, but of course, uh, we have way more people. Um, both angles, and then afterwards we just uh, see what they can make happen because it's only militia, and then I'm too scared about these, you know? Okay, so then we just have to undock here, we brief, and then wait for one day or so and see what will happen. Or with the station to provide our ground defense bonus, I believe. Yeah, turn one, and another invasion. Idee. Okay, we didn't lose anyone, interesting. But neither have we created the defenses just yet. Waiting contact, yes, you say. <laughs> Okay, so it took four days already. Interesting. Usually it doesn't take this long. Leash, yeah, leash, whatever that means. Okay, so uh, auto move is set, right? So, okay, what's the problem? Um, yeah, they should be moving automatically. Auto move units, yes. Okay, boss and enable us for better reason. Okay, so there should be uh, cracking this not here next turn. So, better me for the selecting this, I guess. And if a pirate raid directed against the junkyard guys, okay, it is selected, so it should be doing this automatically. I'm hoping. Okay, I'm not going to why it was deselected, but the UI is not the RVGUL, so the fort video. Okay, this was easy peasy, so our Marines have just regained the strength for their morale, I suppose. So there we go, and uh, 
<laughs> pirate trade also fit incidentally. All interesting. And okay, so loading shots limited to 100. So everyone loves us for this. At least the civilized yeah, guys around here. Okay, so we left the ground defenses intact for the most part. And this seems to be if it uh, yeah, automatically generated by the eye type of thing here for this particular place. Okay, so we open the com directory and then we see that we have <laughs> Most of the officers already waiting for us and the USL guys and an escape port pay is a uh, port master, interesting name there. Okay, so we can maybe cash in some of uh, these points. Okay, so how many points do we have? Uh, 2,400 something. <laughs> okay, um... Okay, so we cash in some supplies and we also cash in some fuel because I'm not going to ever do much more space tracking uh, in the near future. Okay, that's uh, how we can do this and then what we do is place it to be honest and just uh, take a look at the colony because I'm above my limit armor and all. And this is of course yeah, a little bit expensive. So we disrupted something. Uh, this is seven days away. Ground defense are two days away because we didn't bombard anything and the Reuter dress was a terrible place to be honest. And I do have the uh, ability as well just to, yeah, okay. Mm, I can also grant autonomy. Stability is zero, but we just turned over to the uh, Brightons and call it good. So we need this, it's outside our core world. I think we just turned over to. Yeah, I think it was turned over right. Yeah, not a faction. We have rebellion, but I don't think I care about it so much. We can. Yeah, okay. Uh, we do uh, something here. We leave some supplies with some um, heavy armaments behind. Okay, they can have it. I think it's fine. Hopefully, they can use it right. Fantastic. Okay, and then we also talk to this guy brief and we help him with his rebellion problem. And we deliver, uh, yeah, okay, 20 heavy uh, ornaments maybe. And then also 100 supplies. And uh, that should strengthen the government. It hopefully also makes the rebellion a little more likely to fail. But that would be a good idea. And then, okay, you can have another. I think it's fine. These are not stacking, I believe. Anything else? You want some marines? And uh, I suppose uh, we can spare 20 marines, but it's all I want to give you here, believe. Okay, so that's already done. And hopefully this will uh, take us some of the options. And the Brightons will also launch their own suppression fleet because the other colony is level 5 already, isn't it? Okay, so that's relatively decent. And while we're here, we can maybe also take a look at the refreshed inventory. So uh, they do have, of course, the ground defenses down below, which is also why we can be getting some marines back, I think. Uh, that's not the ones we dropped off because I can see 27, 20, uh, yeah, 7 here, respectively. Yeah, open market, I don't think it makes much of a difference, but uh, I don't want to get too hasty, of course, and uh, do away with uh, what we just achieved, you know. Okay, so Brighton can hopefully turn this into something usable, so it was a good opportunity to come here. And it's now, of course, uh, <laughs> well, it's good for them, I suppose. Okay, so we wanted to continue our course and see about these administrators. Yeah, this is not what Jimmy wants to do, he doesn't want to hold on to stuff like this, to be honest. So we just turn over to the Brightons and give them another hope spot here in this universe, or this galaxy. So, okay, let's go to the com directory, and we had, uh, so apparently it's only one, but it's supposed to be two guys here. Interesting. Yeah, what can you do, my friend? I don't, okay, well, um, I suppose um, it's up to random chance if someone can be trained uh, in industrial planning or not. At least this reason to be free is right, I think we take it and then we get go back to the Galatia here, but I think it's fine. And before I forget, we also need to take a look at the available ships around here. And hopefully they do have a troop transport, and indeed they do have a troop transport, and this is a uh, standard variant, I think, the Valkyrie. That is a Valenda vessel, maybe not, I don't remember fully, but that seems to be fit for the purpose here regardless. So it's a burn level of 9 by default, it's frontal shields, and I think a 50 of all points isn't great, but I think we take it. There also some, um, there's some star blazers here. Interesting. I'm very tempted by this, to be honest. <laughs> okay, well, we need a new, uh, yeah, a new crew carrier here, essentially. So we just purchase that one at least. We can afford it, even though I should probably have 30 Reuter drives for this, of course. So let's just outfit this thing brief. Obviously, it will get some fighters. Uh, these, yeah, uh, bombers are turned to flame. Okay, this will be, yeah, I think the other one, uh, the Blue Smithereens last episode was the first one we purchased. And also comes with a ground summer package, of course. So it's cumulative, probably, with diminishing returns of our carrier. Ja, ich denke, was die SOS Piri ist something. I don't remember die, ähm, ja, die. Ja, uh, die proper spelling hier. We can look at some place. I think it's good enough. Yes, I can make the adjustments later on. It's not a problem. Okay, what do we want to out of it? Uh, die suggestion is point defenses all around. Was war die Fickert WD? Okay, so you're getting some point defenses and we have some points there. These are general VD. Okay, why we don't want to give them something offensive because then the enemy will be uh, pacing ahead against the enemies, but we want to have up front here as missile defense, possibly. The PD streamer, but then again, we also need to build in the hangar and also it's probably unnecessary. We don't need all these vents and all the capacitors, probably really useless. So instead, we just convert the hangar, which we can make happen hopefully because it's a larger ship. So convert the hangar, excellent. ECM package, yeah, uh, this also fits the build quite well. And we are with a burn level of 9, which is good enough because. So heavy warships, they are mostly 908 anyway. 
Okay, so I think it's good. I maybe also go with the fetch deck, it's already form. And I think it's uh, friendly all we need here. But yeah, what's your sensor rating? It's 60. Although we need, but if we, we have red with decent sensors or that thing, so probably don't want to handicap ourselves too badly. Yeah, into the end of assembly, we also need to, of course, uh, put in some bombers or some fighters here. It doesn't need to be super fancy, but we have some of our in inventory, of course. Uh, the breaker room, for instance, this was on the. Yeah, I think it was on the. Um, yeah, the nebula we had previously. Yeah, so bombers will be too expensive anyhow, and the broadsword isn't super great, so I think we just go with the breaker drone. Then we can also swap in some point defenses. So what do we get rid of, or do we build in something? I don't think we need this, to be honest. I don't think increase in bronze speed uh, would be nice, don't get me wrong. Okay, we need some point defenses, something cheap, something affordable, and we have six ordnance points to work with. So maybe something in free range here we can get, or something, yeah, two and... <laughs> okay, but apparently not, really. That's unfortunate, we are a bit short on story points. So, and the fighter maybe have to go. With, oh, okay, one puts laser. The flashlight. It's a crappy weapon, apparently, but I suppose we just take it. We can uh, swap the other one here, make it a little bit beefier. For instance, the. What is this? The long range? Oh, it says uh, LR, but it's a medium range, apparently. But uh, for a small weapon mount uh, range 800 is really kind of good. Okay, point defenses on both sides here. Uh, this relatively useless thing, and then otherwise we see what can make happen. This wanna be just a troop transport, this will be a carrier troop transport. So we have point defense all around. I think it should be good. Uh, well, it's not that great, it's only for point defense we leave. If we shoot at anything, we will add missiles, <laughs> probably from front to fetch the converter tanker. ECM package, we have a heavy fighter wing. I think it should be good. We don't need any vents or capacitors because, as we see with the nebulas, if the enemy gets too close, it simply doesn't matter, right? Even though the um, shields are better on this thing here by comparison. Yeah, but the armor is a lot better, but it doesn't matter. What shields are down, this thing is still gonna be okay. We have at least uh, grabbed ourselves something swell here, something lovely. And we also need to get back to Galatia, and I hope we don't have to pay any salary back there, but I just left them parked, uh, quotation mark. Okay, well, uh, you're not going to sure I can't direct this in any capacity process, but when it comes to the skills, but we find this out here pretty soon, won't we? Okay, there we go, now I can set down this thing if we want to uh, implement right at our station. And what's the problem now? Is, uh, I didn't rip all this fucking shit out of storage, did I do? Well, lovely, so we have to take this, otherwise we have to pay for the, uh, yeah, the storage fees every single month, essentially, rather not, you know. Okay, that should be done automatically, really, if we turn this over to another faction. Uh, now it comes down to the Reuter drives, I believe. Afterwards, we expand the station, so we actually have some growth occurring. And the centralization bureau will make this all a pretty profitable, I'm thinking. Yeah, was it again? Uh, Savage Yards you can also use, but there is no hostile presence in this uh, system any longer, so it would be a little bit wasted. Yeah, Roller Drives, that's what I want here, and then we also swap this around, I think. Yeah, so Expand Station can come last, I think it's fine. And uh, we can also get this refunded until construction has uh, yeah, been started. I think we get a full refund even. Another Remnant Rain, let me guess, it's five fleets, they are super strong, which means it will be better ships and heavy cruisers, of course. Ja, yeah, we can intercept them, but we do this actually. Yeah, where are they going? Uh, oh, I. Hmm, interesting. Uh, they are delivering what exactly? Well, um, could be a large trade convoy. Um, could, oh, Eldorado was is uh, interesting. Well, we can maybe try that. Maybe. We can set a waypoint and try to intercept them. There's only one jump, what is there not? Ja, yeah, they go from Eldorado to this place here and uh, 10 days under departure. It's, uh, I think it's manageable. Now we want to call it first please because I need to get rid of the shit in inventory. It's very annoying. The storage that is and they have all the shit in here. We can sell the open market immediately. As long as we don't, this doesn't matter being over capacity in case they're wondering. Yeah, okay, we don't need the ore, we don't need that shit. We need the heavy ornaments too. There was something else, right? Was there not? I think we also have got some supplies here. It's nine points. You can do whatever here with the tariffs. I think they need all the money, don't they not? So we have supplies. Uh, we have a few. We have marines. We have heavy armaments, and um, they also have start to regenerate some of them, as you can see. Hopefully, you can use this place. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, I think it's all we can do anyhow, right? So we just, uh, man, the administrator, <laughs> it's a bit useless right away, I don't want to go to Galatia, but it's a free desk getting over here, right? But we also have to fly through the system, so... Yeah. Okay, there was an invasion, of course, thanks for stating the obvious. Okay, I think we want to deal with some pirates, and afterwards we drop this ambassador and uh, get on, we have been on Marivage and be too tough hold of right? And we can probably, uh, probably set the correct way, probably before I forget. Because we want to, uh, yeah, we want to go here and send so the awesome same system with our junkyard contact. Well, we can, uh, <laughs> kill two birds of one stone, hopefully. And the literal sense, that means the pirates, of course. Why would they uh, worry about this? They should be, uh, yeah, shouldn't they be on the same side? Whatever. Yeah, 
also trade convoy, but I chances it's super heavily escorted. Probably no, right? but we can lower the accessibility and also the uh, yeah, stop price in both uh, systems and both planets. It doesn't have an impact. And so we can impact the economy, especially during times of war. And we are involved in pirates, aren't we? Mm -hmm, certainly we are. So, okay, my friends, this is, uh, this is Pickle, uh, whatever here, we care. Interested about the, yeah, there's an armada, for instance, could be uh, worth knocking out, and uh, yeah, what about the pirates? It's a local here someplace, and we see uh, how long it would take them to depart. From the tool up, we can just camp in orbit and engage them, hopefully. Uh, if only this was alphabetically solved, of course it is not. It's our contact, of course, if you want to talk to him, so be it. Uh, yeah, deterioration, and yeah, where's the trade convoy? Three, four days unto departure. And they're carrying supplies and all this other lovely stuff. Uh, I think... Yeah, it's worth <laughs> enough of you, of course. Pursuing our fleet. Well, uh, that will be the last thing they ever do, to be honest. Yeah, okay. There we go. And of course, they have joined with the allies. And the allies are absolutely trash. So I think we knocked them out here back to back. So we have an uh, gambit. They have an uh, Baltic Mark 2. Trashy 1. Yeah, everything is trash around here. And we can... Well, we can take a look at the planet camp. We not let we take it over again. Because I'm done with the pirates. At least knock out their fucking plans. They have any core votes. <laughs> yeah, if we stumble upon them, it would be terrible. But the assume, of course, it doesn't impact the storyline. Of course, we will pursue them. This will be a retreating action apart. Leave out. There will be no retreat here. As far as I can help it right. Okay, we can chase them some fighters. But these ships are too slow to catch anything else, really. Uh, I am as, but as slow, but we have the light carrier, of course. Yeah, committing these slow as warships probably doesn't do a whole lot for us, but these guys are also gonna get away. Actually, could it's 80. I do have burn drive on some of these, not on this guy because it's their launchers. You have a burn drive. Okay, I was looking at some smaller vessels, we shouldn't underestimate, of course. And uh, we have a look in terms of officers, so level 1, well, that's very basic. That's very basic, so let's see if we can be pulling in from the side. You are too large for this, I think, right, aren't you? But the, no, also too large, I guess. No, <laughs> the game goes for the mule. Okay, you can maybe come in from the left and try to knock on some people. You can come in from the right because we need to provide some interception. Mm -hmm. So we leave uh, where you can come, I think it's fine. Then if we cable vessel and then our new troop transport, maybe we can also bring so for um, deployment points and enable us to do their own fighters, of course. You can uh, use your uh, ramming speed here, officer, I think it's a good idea. This is also too large, apparently, but unfortunate. Oh, we don't need all of our heavy warships that will be back-to-back -back fighting against some other guys around here. So Light Destroyer is set up for Combos raiding, and this thing is very slow. Actually, surprisingly, <laughs> it's slightly faster for other ships, I take it back. Okay, the Light Cruiser, of course, and then we also keep the Light Carrier, and I don't need to come here. We don't need these uh, ships, to be honest. We need to conserve some uh, supplies, ideally. Okay, Drotaner can come in from left to right for the 40, but I think it should probably be point defense guy, you know. Okay, so we play ourselves and we immediately set for uh, assault, but it would be probably a bit premature. Probably. Okay, these guys have to stay out of uh, weapon range anyway for the most part, as you've seen. And you can maybe join the Eradicator. Okay, and the other ships, they can do whatever. I think they will deserve these people here regardless. So, okay, hopefully I'm not wrong about this, but I think this will be a priority target. So this will be a fighter strike. And of course we have uh, quite a couple of escort carriers around here. And uh, the board deck doesn't set much of a chance. So I think it will be our first target and see how it goes here. I don't think we have to direct this, uh, yeah, the fleet action. We just have to knock on some people with the uh, ships at the back. Yeah, it's our troop uh, carrier, there is a nebula here, they launch in the fighters and their interceptors or whatever, but also stay in the back, which is exactly according to our plan, and I don't think we can intercept all of these guys getting away, but our friends uh, to the north, they will try their best. Yeah, of course they are faster, but we, uh, yeah, I think, do we need full assault for this? I don't think this is a great idea, we do. <laughs> At least not right now. At least we have stopped uh, the ships in uh, their way, so to speak. So, let's just see the asteroid, very eager to get to the enemies, of course. The project is good for support, but they do else. They probably stick closer to the, uh, to the carrier. I don't think there's that much of a chance here, but uh, we have a hate winner for the pirates right now. Oh, at least I do. <laughs> it's probably also Jimmy. Because last episode was just a little too much. It was just a little too much. And to be honest, they're just asking for it. They just got them asking for it. Yeah, good thing. I think they're attached to the eradicator, right? Okay, I'll try to get away. So we are yeah, full assault. Full assault, not them out of the fucking sky here. Is temporarily and see what we can make up. We need to slow down this fucking thing in the back, for instance. Yeah, okay, a tram got away. Oh man, a tram got away. What a disaster. There we go. This is the border down, and the gambit we should be able to intercept the problem. Hoping. And we're taking care of the uh, stupid frigates back there. Whatever passes for frigate around here. Just don't want to lose any ships, you know, but I don't think it will happen necessarily. <laughs> oh, shouldn't be getting too cocky, of course. Yeah, I think the Gambit is trying to hold its ground, but I can obviously see some frontal armor being destroyed. And yeah, I just think this is a chance once it all cruises get in range. 
Und zwar ihre Trading Action of Colossus and the Defeat. All the time, baby. Ja, das ist so komplett ausrede als Reminder. Ja, von daher ist mein Mister als in Range und Partly. Ja, so der Brief ist getting in the way of the Colossus. Und there we go. So the Gambit is destroyed. And the bot got away. So the, I don't think the Servus is going to get away. Weil right? wir looking at the Shepherd of all things. One or two important. I'm figuring. Ja, good job there, Escort Carriers. And goodbye to this drone attender here, I guess. <laughs> well, at least we don't got the captain warships that can't interfere with our little uh, fleet here, right? Okay, Pied Armada and there's only two ships. I don't really care anything of salvaging. Nothing is worth salvaging. So we just strip it all down for parts here. And another easy 6,000 bucks, you know. Okay, fantastic. And <laughs> we can even do more salvage. Excellent. And there may be also system bounty. Could be. Yeah, I really care. Just cut it from parts. I don't need the kite. We need heavy machinery for this. <laughs> Ja, yeah, wir gehen uns essen, die System bauen den hier. Mit den Junkyard Dogs. Und wir locken jetzt zum Pirate Raiders Besuch auf Fleet. Und dann der. Okay, <lacht> okay war noch ganz schön beim Warte, Warte, du. Im Interesse der Bau des. Ide. Um, how about no? Im Interesse der Bau des Intercepting des Trade Convoy. Are you kidding me with this? And of course, no, you know you don't, you pieces of shit. That's not how this works. See, of course, the station is in orbit, but it's in the orbit of the other side of the system right now. And it's, of course, a fucking star fortress. What? I beg your fucking pardon. <laughs> so, of uh, that we cannot take the station, but what? I get the star fortress. And this thing is almost 200,000 whole integrity and 2,400 armor. Are you going to be shitting me with this? No. You, you cannot harass us. Are you kidding me with this? You cannot harass us. <laughs> So, where is the Gotham Trade Convoy? Yeah, it should be popping out of here pretty soon, won't it? So, one day under departure. Yeah, okay, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Are you kidding me with this? You fucking piece of shit. I'm already contacted by the army. Okay, so, yeah. Um, we don't want to venture too close to the station. Okay, there's the Trade Convoy. I mean, this is the Trade Convoy. Yeah, this is the Trade Convoy. Oh, we just have to wait uh, for it to uh, get going, right? Because the one we will be required to face the, uh, the station. That is, uh, yeah, there we go. Interdiction pools. And these people, they cannot make up their mind if they want to intercept us or not. Yeah, fucking station. So we can take it over right now. What are you doing here? I'm writing content running for our fleet. And <laughs> ah, so there we go. With allies, there must be the people nearby. But obviously, we're pursuing them. And I think I will just auto-resolve this. I think it's a good idea. So just, uh, yeah, take some of these faster warships. I think uh, only combat readiness is with the OV care about this angle. Okay, can we maybe knock off all of them? That would be swell, right? And so, some idiots managed to get away with really. the. Okay, whatever you say, their game. I think it makes more sense, but I'll write Interdiction puts Vido. So I see, Factor of Shipyards poses absolutely no threat to us. But the other fortress, of course, does pose some threat to us. Yeah, are they loading? They're says they're loading. Yeah, riding for our fleet is what I would like to see. Run into our uh, arms, so to speak. Right? There we go. Excellent. So is it all of them? The fucking Star Fortress again. Why do we not even range of the fucking Star Fortress? Cut that piece of shit game. Yeah, cut, cut it out. That's how, that's how this works. There we go. So, yeah, that's what I thought, really. Okay, they have a couple of these ships from offboard because they are still empty, I believe. Okay, this, uh, as you can see, uh, we interrupt this market in both ways, which is good. Accessibility up to three months. Why don't you control, but they're carrying lots of stuff, and we're trying to at least. Okay, I <laughs> won't be reaching the destination safely if Jim starts anything to say about this. Okay, so, yeah, so the factory ship, we have uh, a smuggler, a combat freighter, but this is a smuggling uh, fleet. Yes, this will be retreating action, so these ships will be completely blown to the so we pursue them, of course. And I think I'd like to see them be blown to Marines. Okay, so some of them are a bit of in a bad shape because we they have it our retreat. However, that works. Even though it shouldn't be the... Uh, whatever, whatever indeed. So we just uh, use our pre-established pattern. And we will be getting combat ready and it's pretty speedy anyway. Okay, they can come from the left because there are some ships that need to be destroyed. Some people from the right just... Uh, even the tankers, but I don't think we want to commit our tankers because uh, they are somewhat vulnerable and also very eager to engage the enemy. Maybe one can come from the right, even though I may regret this. Uh, the asteroid can make itself useful with its burn drive. Ah, though it's probably too aggressive anyhow, right? If you commit it that way. So, it's a couple of freighters. How many ships do we need really? Not all of them is the answer. Uh, the vehicle can come just... Uh, or we knock them out with some long range uh, missile support. Okay, so we commit some supplies and I immediately go all out, I think. Maybe. Commit is... Uh, even this opportunity is... I mean, the venture. I think it's opportunity, right? 
Ja, yeah, as a venture, okay. And we just order full assault and we should be able to uh, take care of the guys around here. We just enjoy the fireworks. Ja, yeah, okay. And then we just have some problems with combat range, but some problems. Yeah, this thing's can't even go away because the engines, you know, they're firing very slowly because they're off board. But for ships and combat is a recipe for disaster. Yeah, this fighter ship is pretty defense. <laughs> It's not that way. <laughs> I don't know the way to the web edge. I want to take it out, ideally, yes. Uh, but I. We don't want one engine entirely. I think we also overload the Buffalo. Full it here, and we're going ramming speed. Yeah, so this thing is off board. It can't even fire back, so. I don't think it even raises shields, by the way. Look at things. No, no matter, it's a corner. And the Colossus is burning full speed. But I don't think it can get away. Yeah, it's, uh, it doesn't even have any point defenses. It doesn't seem to be knocked. Uh, there we go, there we go. Yeah, there's some in the back. I'm uh, fine, I'm not sure. Then we took all the Colossus with. <laughs> by ramming it. Oh, it's flying asteroid. What is a flying asteroid? Yes. Yeah, and even the tanker has. Uh, yeah, shooting at some point here. Someone's actually shooting back. Imagine that, at least temporarily. Yeah, fuck the pirates. It's <laughs> just fuck them. <laughs> I'm so done with them. Yeah, we have a stun fortress. If we have an onslaught, maybe, or two, then could take it. But uh, 200,000 hit points is ridiculous. It's not even from the pots. That's just the structure itself, you know. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> we can also sell whatever we can scavenge from back here. Okay, a blitzer got away. Wow, a blitzer got away. <laughs> <It is. laughs> wow, we can't uh, chase him twice. It doesn't work this way. Doesn't do. Okay, uh, so we have a combat freighter getting past here and the tramp and the. Okay, I think it's just to interrupt this way. Then we lost the one fighter pilot. Ja, okay. Warum wird das interrupt, uh, whatever we were trying to achieve here? Salvage and there's the Buffalo we rammed uh, out of orbit, I guess. Ja, there's some heavy armaments, of course. So did we actually intercept this? I don't know. Probably some ships got away and I'm chasing down some stupid, uh, yeah, blitzers to be honest. That's not going to work here. Okay, anything. Uh, how much of capacity are we? It's uh, 200 something. But we can activate our fort, I suppose. Yeah, we here need to get rid of something. And this usually metal is the uh, stuff that is the least uh, valuable, uh, valuable stuff. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, we see a falcon over here and another interdiction fleet. I have to give it down. I mean, now we just get over here, sell our crap and then uh, call it processing. Okay, but whatever he <laughs> Willi, no! So, apparently, do I have to knock out the entire fleet? Willi? You should knock out the entire fleet for this. Okay, well, uh, I think I take it. Get over here, you idiots. There we go. The, the interdiction ports now we just auto resolve this and it should be. Yeah, they don't even have anything in their fucking car goods any longer. The game is just fucking ridiculous about this. So, okay, second command, you time to shine. Take all the uh, faster ships here and then knock all of them out. No one is getting away, right? No one is getting away. Exactly what I would like to see here. And also, our reputation would be like minus 300 at this point in time. So, there we go. My bounty is excellent. And now we can find the return to post here to the original course. Yeah, so I don't really care about these fucking idiots around here. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we're burning for supplies, but it's only a couple of days we can take it. Yeah, we have to regain our combat readiness, of course. Oh, well, I just started crap, we just scavenged from the pirates, because frankly, I don't give a damn, we don't need metal, we don't need that shit here, we can maybe gas up all the way because it's cheap. Uh, anything else? Well, all these weapons, maybe, but they're only a couple of points each, you know, and we want to hold on to the heavy armaments, of course. So there is some pirate and path activity in the system, of course there is, that's the answer. Alrighty, so I think we are perfectly can be. We may take a look at the shipyard as well because I have become some. Oh, really? This interesting. So we have an intelligent uh, basic uh, explorer and we have an intelligent Mark II. And this apparently is a destroyer variant, so not a Buffalo Mark II variant, really. There's, yeah, there's multiples of these courtesy of my uh, mod selection, really. Okay, this says <laughs> it's probably better than the Buffalo Mark II of the Pirates, but still. Canister flag? Yeah, this is very good. Alright, um. Oh, doesn't look too impressive, but then it gets a very expensive, right? A Q doesn't look very cute to me, it just looks pretty ugly. Okay, this is an escort vessel, so we have one medium hardpoint and nine small ones. And apparently we can stuff all the stuff in there. A ballistic and missiles, I believe. I think a synergy hardpoint also gives us energy weapons. If not completely misremembering, we have a couple of nebulas back here. Yeah, what about these missile pods? Can we get them from here? Because it's one of those larger stations I thought. Apparently not, so that must. Oh, so I misremembered. So, well, we can go to some other station for now. We just talk to our contact and see what's going on about that red planet. Yeah, this guy, the citizen. Uh, hello, the gangster. 
No, we can't do any, uh, yeah, any spice at any problem. Forget about it. But uh, thanks for the offer there, regardless. You should probably cut ties with you anyway. All right. It's a space uh, crew comrade, apparently. No, well, apparently it doesn't want to follow through with this anyhow, but it's just some information, you know. You can uh, maybe uh, buy him a beer or two along the way with uh, a space beer. Hmm. Okay, so it's uh, money. Yeah. 19,000. Sure, we can make this happen. It's not a problem. Right. Okay, I think it's good. You probably can uh, use the money, right? Okay, so we've earned some money, some experience. And we also done the Reuters stations. Okay, fantastic. I think I'm relatively satisfied with this. So the junkyard is the home world, and it probably is, uh, there probably is a uh, shipyard back there anyway, right? I can be bothered to look for the other stuff right now here. Yeah, so it's still trying to chase us. We've been on the space uh, convoys. So weapon cache really uh, drifting through space for that long. Uh, not for much longer. Of course, I can see these fucking pilots all over the place. And if only the junkyard guys were knocking out the station, right? Because they probably have firepower. So it's a weapon cache, so there's even loom we haven't learned before. Really? Nano hull repair. Ha. Huh. Okay, that's uh, that's nice. So uh, also a couple of blueprints we already know, I guess. Well, we can go to this uh, free port and uh, yeah, trade in for some place, but I think just sell it. Not to the pirates, of course, but you know what I mean. Okay, interesting. And uh, we just get to the station and see if we cannot get ourselves some lovely vehicles. Yeah, patrolling. And they're not fighting the pirates. They're fighting someone. It's just, uh, yeah, this place is buzzing with activity. Private here, but given the private presence, they probably have a rich pickings around here, but think. We still need to get ourselves repaired for our 241 supplies. But good thing, we have plenty of supplies and we have access to even more supplies and we need to get all of them anyway. Lovely. Okay, we're earning money. Finally, we have become uh, financially <laughs> yeah, independent. It's really good. Okay, it's something we want to learn, of course. And also this one. Okay, we've seen this. We have plenty of these in storage. We don't need this. Uh, to be honest, they can have it. I don't want to fly to Brighton Place just to turn it over. It seems unnecessarily tedious, you know. Okay, anything else? Uh, we have ship components. We have way too many heavy machinery, but this stuff is relatively useful by comparison, right? But okay, we do plenty of scavenging. Of course, there will be some pirates falling in front of us, hopefully. And that's the shipyard, okay. So there should be better selection. They have their own troop transport, naturally. But we already have a troop transport, and uh, cashing in the uh, Nebula Sprite doesn't make sense because they're way cheaper to operate. And we don't need to fight a base on every single Nebula back here, do we? It's probably unnecessary. And they have pretty uh, beefy tankers. I do remember. So they are slightly more expensive to operate, of course. So given the stats. Yeah, that's the potential we wanted. Uh, it is uh, by function comms and integrated life support. What could be worse is a drone tender. Well, if you have a prestige one, I would be uh, buying it. No, not from here in the black market. Wow, they could care little. They do care about our transponder being off, for instance. Pursuit frigate. Oh, that's first, yes. Yeah, they also, uh, <laughs> yeah, they, they also stack these. Um, yeah. Yeah, all these fighter base, I'm sorry, yeah, these drones. Every, every single little ship, apparently, every single uh, ship has at least one fighter bay for drones, uh, some of which appear to be built in. Yeah, every single little bit. It's probably for binding and salvaging primarily, but also for defense. And there's the Mud Skipper and the Splendor we had at the very start of this Let's Play. Mm, yeah, good old Splendor, but I don't think it lasted very little at all. Okay, so we want that thing here. It's uh, 50,000, okay. It's from the open market to start checking. Oh, the, oh, of course, they don't have the cash. Yeah, that would be the reason. Well, we can come back. Not a problem. It's not a problem, of course. And we, again, still, why do? <laughs> Unbelievable. Do we have enough crew? We have enough crew, but we could hire maybe a couple more. And there's plenty of things going on. Uh, okay, don't need the Marines. We don't need to break this condition mark a shortfall over here. We need some crew, please. Okay, just a couple. I think it's fine. And what's going on back here? So we have a perfect activity. We have pirate activity, we have a regional capital, okay, whatever that means. And we have pollution, uh, of course, uh, junkyard guys, so they have uh, made this place a bit of a mess here, apparently. The population is level 7, so this is like, yeah, you can't even go that far, this is set in at the start of the game, really. so it's a good place, don't get me wrong. Okay, so excellent, uh, then we continue to what exactly the next storyline I would figure. Uh, which was exactly so. Let's see here. We have a couple of follow ups and also do away with this um, query I set up because it's uh, yeah, a little, yeah, too many things to worry about. And we also wanted to get this um, administrator trained. But for now, we need to grind up some money. Other or waited these a couple of months, you know. Otherwise, there's no point of going back to Galicia right away. Also, we necessary is it though? Okay, we have plenty of uh, puffer cells. It's also oh, this place actually deteriorating. Oh, uh, not, <laughs> yeah, not without our help, I'm thinking about it. And of course, also pirate activity in the system. Of course, there would be lovely. Minus 40% accessibility. That's, uh, that's kind of something, right? That's kind of something. Okay, then, uh, let's just, let not, yeah, let's not get sidetracked here. Okay, this project, and we have two plans we want to call at. And then we go to, 
Uh, I'm a consumer, it doesn't make much of a difference, does it? Let's just set the waypoint and see what you can make happen. And also explore the planet, and the planet is down there, okay. Fantastic. Well, I'm not going sure we can take it to this episode, but uh, we see what you can make happen. I'm not going sure uh, unlocking the... Oh, there we go, finally. Uh, unlocking the uh, hyper gates will work, really. I haven't really seen too many of these in the event in some place, so... Most people have some debris around the station. Oh, it's good. Ah, definitely the pilots will be launching the next raid or vengeance fleet pretty soon. Are we prepared to knock them out, hopefully? Yeah, what's that here? There is a uh, Ludic Church patrol with a couple of converted atlases. Could be nasty, but of course uh, we have a 100% reputation for all of them for most of every reason. Yeah, I'm not sure why we still want the dictatorship to be honest. <laughs> Boy, it doesn't make more sense. I know they have like two plans remaining at most. Alright, there we go, and I think uh, this is also the place of the academy. Now, if you remember to pick up our guy here pretty soon, we don't have to get back to Galatia, for instance. Okay, well, that's not a problem. Hopefully, he does learn the correct trade for that matter. Yeah, can we uh, direct this, or is this just random? I think it's just random, right? So we just have to come back here, and this guy will stay put for long. I think there will be a notification anyway, so don't uh, concern ourselves about this too badly. But any ships we can uh, get our hands on, so there's another super freighter, but guess what? We have in store super freighters, and that's come to speak of it. We also need to retrieve our drone tenders, otherwise we're just back back here. And this is a good vessel, for the reasons that you can see down below is the jammer pod. And yeah, so it, uh, here, deswegen Silicon is an escort, which we would be stupid not to take it. We would be stupid not to take it, especially from the open market. It's an excellent vehicle. I've used this extensively as an escort because they say that's exactly what it's good for, you know. So, yeah, there we go. So, okay, um, don't want to sell it. We want to out of it, also rename it. And this is the uh, anti fighter or whatever. If I can type, of course. If I can type, of course. <laughs> Come on, can't be so hard. Apparently, it's very hard and also very embarrassing. There we go. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but of course, I embarrass myself. They want to survive. And we can auto actually just come with a bit of weaponry, right? Actually, maybe not. Interesting. No auto template for this, but it's an oversight because it comes uh, because of one uh, yeah, mod, and sometimes they have these variations missing. As you can see, we have an easy package with an Afri lane. We also have the special ability that's very good against uh, all enemy ships incoming. And the, I will be using this opportunity here quite liberally. I can just show you. Maybe there's some homeworks we can put in, but for now, we avoid about point defenses and the thing should stay alive ideally so we go with the beefiest point defenses now um, it's the same fight as uh, like that but um yeah 600 it's a streamer so it's continuous fight essentially and uh, the damage is so far so it doesn't really matter because we want to shoot down some missiles primarily and so um yeah this continuous fight or is it not Okay, well, we try that. Hopefully, it's good enough. And then we also put in some homos, I suppose. So, what would be useful if we have the top speed? Well, if an escort vessel primarily 100 is plenty, I think. Uh, maybe up a little bit. We do have bad arm, which you can step on here for every reason. And I don't think we can uh, reduce the cooldown of our special ability for an officer. I think that we can make happen. Probably not. This M package is built in, of course. Maybe some EMP resistance would be good. Fighter clamps it. Okay. Oh, we could put some fighters on that thing. I suppose we could make that happen. Ah, yeah, what's your rating? I think it's uh, 420 already. was excellent. I really don't send this on the uh, whole size. This small point doesn't make sense. Maybe some point defense AI. But we already have, you know, uh, only point defense weapons. Exactly one. Okay, that increased damage to missiles by 50%. Wow, well, then we take it, I suppose. We don't need that. Uh, nano hull repair. That's the new one we learned, I think. So it is uh, per second, you say. It's less efficient on larger holes, I can give a spin because this thing needs to be with us. And also point defense because you can stack these bonuses if nothing else. Reflective armor, well, I'm not going to do it matter, but really for spookheads, even though it's slow as loud a little bit, we can even, yeah, let's, let's just go all uh, armor here on this thing here, right? And also maybe buff all shields a little bit with the rest of the points. I don't see anything else that is really very important on the vehicle of this size. Okay, we can, uh, no, we need to capacity us in advance, right? Maybe. Oh, we just have to wait and see, of course, weapon groups, what weapon groups, only what weapon, all this thing, you know. Okay, um, so we have a belt armor, which gives us, it was better than some of other combat ships, really. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, Probably. Okay, so point defense, and so on and so forth. We can have the CD upgrade from back here, ideally. This would be nice, but you can also, but guess, I guess. Yeah, all right, then. This should give us uh, something against the enemy fighters. If we find, uh, yeah, another battle station to throw ourselves against, for instance. Yeah, okay, so this was a good find, and I would like to know the blueprint, but of course we do not know the blueprint, naturally. Okay, I think we're talking uh, to this individual once more, or would contact, or reluctant contact, probably. 
Again, it's up to him to help us, of course, not for free, I would figure. Yeah, indeed we are. Hmm. Now, Vino, just, <laughs> we are yours, really, you know, in the sense because you have all the cards and we have nothing. Yeah, favor, of course, favor. Hmm. Okay, that's an interesting uh, development. So apparently he wants to get blackmailed. That's what I thought. Okay, uh, whatever takes so fancy. Uh, how does it fit? Uh, whatever. Okay, here's his old mind. Of course, he doesn't get <laughs> to push any information under the absolute necessities. Um, um, do we really care? Is it uh, something Jimmy Stars really interested in when it comes to this? No, I don't think it's right. So. <laughs> um, yeah, this gets straight to the point because they're not stupid as Jimmy Stardust. Oh, sure, whatever you say, that man. Right. I think we don't worry about this. We want the information, we don't worry about credits, are we? We don't have to spend any longer. And I think it would be a stupid idea to mention this. If there's some payment, we just uh, accept the payment and then thank him personally. Alright, oh, then he's told us we can pick whatever we want here. Whichever, yeah, okay. So <laughs> we can plant it in. Yeah, okay. So it's up to us, really. Not going to why he would, but okay. Pirate organization, uh, pirates, really. Uh, okay, we just. <laughs> uh, I think we can find a pirate around here, but sneak into one of the planets. It could be a little bit of a difficult proposition. Okay, it's also the academy still. Let's not forget about our administrator, should we? So, okay, we should be uh, talking to someone else. Right back here at Dawn. Mm, well, <laughs> Dawn is uh, okay. interesting suggestion there, but friend. I told us we have another opportunity. I mean, um, really? Follow us two guys, but don't have a message lock, I believe. So this is highlighted, then it's probably the place we are supposed to be going. But there are other pirates around here, aren't they? Or there used to be at least. And they also mentioned this award specifically. So why don't we try this instead here and see if this is highlighted or not? I think it's only one to jump over if we can take that. Just for variety sake and shits and giggles. We don't have to head to the uh, place being marked, you know. Okay, some smugglers. <laughs> to code rock, really. It's an interesting game. I don't think you've been to this colony before because it's, of course, a new one. There will be explanations on the frontier. Ah, uh, yeah, fantastic. <laughs> well, it should be probably less defended. And there's also some debris floating for space. And we're looking at the nebula. Well, okay. <laughs> we are, it's not a recoverable anyway. I mean, we're using a story point for this. Even though it's the bright and a variety. So probably have plenty of missiles on the thing. And we have plenty of missiles on the thing. And <laughs> two medium <laughs> missile hard points. Well, okay. Well, we don't need it. But uh, otherwise, I would have maybe <laughs> been tempted. Yeah, hopefully our administrator doesn't take too long. What's the pirates? Oh, video really, we haven't been here before. Interesting. Uh, this is probably something we could board if we have the requisite materials. Uh, so there is in... Oh, I suppose we can try that. We don't know how heavily defended it is, but once we pull a little bit away, there shouldn't be any uh, personal patrols uh, worrying about our transponder or whatever. Yeah, Pirate Base, where is it? Okay, the one they've built last episode, I suppose. Yeah, there's supposed to be guys around here because it's a jump node, and apparently the Pirates have also taken control of this area back here with the Comrade. Vision has failed. Uh, <laughs> okay, we need to turn off the transponder. Otherwise, we can't look at this place, of course. Uh, I don't see any patrons nearby. Uh, maybe they have always seen us and still uh, refused it, but apparently they don't care about what's going on here. Uh, apparently, okay, so we have to go back there anyway, right? That's what I thought, really. If it's not highlighted, you get the idea. Anyone hang out in the bar? Sometimes uh, you don't have these follow-ups as we've seen, but they're not... Um, okay, uh, this seems to be just the general purpose stuff. Come on, the traders, really. You do have 400 units of fuel, I believe. Uh, but if we want to deal with the pirates, but since we're here, yeah, we have plenty of fuel. Is it above um, market value? I think it is uh, yeah, substantially above market value. There's a deficit here. Well, it's easy money, I suppose. It's the pirates, but uh, we can get a uh, yeah, fuel for cheap, essentially. I don't think we paid more than uh, 13 credits for this. Okay, why not? I mean, we're not above a, a quick and easy business opportunity, I'm thinking, right? Okay, we do uh, just uh, call at the com uh, directory and deliver the fuel. And there we go. Excellent. Uh, lovely and easy. Uh, 23,600 bucks here. Uh, we don't need this contact, of course, but uh, <laughs> I'm not sure why we'll be doing this, but why did then? Uh, but that's how we can uh, get our hands on.
Ähm, Trashy Chips, die als die Ernster Willi. Äh, deswegen ist der Grund to Package, dass die Only Saving Grace auf die Colossus Mark Free ist in my opinion. Okay, so Barney was the best coming here, but since uh, be here, we can also maybe take a look at the station and see if there's anything of note back there. Ja, so alle wissen jetzt zum Jump Notes, and they also took this Comp Relay. Ah, die alle Plans seem to be uh, unpopulated, whatever reason. Ja, der hat den Problems of the Binary Star System, I guess. I'll try to chase us. Ja, gut, luck with that, my friend. Alright, so. Uh, we should also take a look at the suggestions there once in a while, because some of the officers have been assigned to the post, of course. And this seems to be rather fitting for a wound around, an, yeah, an orbit around the gas giant. Yeah, all of this, by the way, was AI generated as a reminder. I'm very fancy as far as I'm concerned. Alright, so let's just see what's on offer. We can also maybe buy some gas around here, because this being a siphoning station giants are is probably a surplus, right? Okay, we have a tuck board. We have a use the tuck board, and these can stack, by the way. You can have like five of these in the fleet, I believe. I think we can, and this will be increasing the uh, burn speed of the slowest vessel in information by one, but this thing is also eight only, so I'm not sure what we'll be using this on. Uh, one tugboat, uh, yeah, towing a onslaught, another tugboat, uh, yeah, towing the tugboat, towing the onslaught, I'm not sure what's, how it's supposed to work, to be honest. Oh, there's a pristine opportunity. Mm, I'm tempted if you want to do some exploration. Yeah, of course, I don't want to deal with uh, the guys around here when it comes to black markets. The things here right away is probably unnecessary. Okay, so we have to go over here anyhow, as it turns out. Well, done for me, but I think it was worth the detour here regardless. And well, I suppose let's get here. Yeah, some few here even just did it. Dealing there more than fair ships and gigos really more than anything else. Okay, take all the supplies. It's a uh, stability 9 in this place. It's by the pilot presence, pretty interesting. Okay, so we're telling me we have to go over here. Well, then we can try to sneak, even though we are anything but sneaky right now. We are set up to knock on these enemies uh, with great prejudice. Also, retrieve our administrator. I don't think it takes more than a couple of months. And uh, maybe only one month, you see, because I want to pay the monthly storage fees, which is stupid because. Why do? Are we paying for lodgings or whatever? Is it a luxury hotel down there? It could be a strategic place, but then again, who knows? I think once we're in the nebula, we should be able to turn off the transponder and dock, right? I think we can still intake with the comp relay. Or the comp director, I should say. Okay, uh, it's out in the nebula anyway, isn't it? Not? Okay, but we want to maybe go around in Africa at least, because it's probably a picket around there. Another invasion. Against the Ludic Church, of course, they're at war once more. <laughs> Everyone is at war here at all times, essentially. Okay, so the transponder, we brief, and then call port at this pirate place. Yeah, good thing here. So we have kept our repetition from uh, minus 50 to 55. Can't ask for much more, we need. can be do. Okay, so there we go. It's apparently a very uh, inhospitable world. So what are we looking at here? It's a 250 hazard rating. And they have mining going on a little else in salvage yards. Well, there's some crappy ships around here, I suppose. And uh, this, I don't think it can go down. It's just, you know, not progressing like it all things are supposed to work. Unless, of course, it's becoming decivilized, which doesn't seem to be the case. We can uh, speed things along here while we're around because I don't see any defenses, do you? No, I see any defenses. We, uh, okay, but interesting. I think we consider this, but for now we need to uh, do some um, yeah, context, right? Okay, anything we to get rid of these things we don't need. And heaven forbid we don't pay any taxes to the pirates or people, so just drop it off here with a brief. It's an easy 400 something. And then we count the weapons back to our place here once in a while, once we get back here. Also get some supplies from the black market, who cares? We need these supplies, don't we? Uh, okay, so it's a bit strange if we even consider this, but alright. So anyone hang out in the bar while we're around? Uh, someone else could be maybe giving us some information. But I only see a woman is smoking in the dark corner, and they want us to do probably... 700 marines, really? Of course, uh, no, I don't think my friend, even though... How could we even get 700 marines? Uh, we can build our own military base and then just uh, put them out of storage. That could work, but that would be a long uh, term proposition, actually. Okay, uh, Vinny, okay, so no one is here. Special functions, probably not under special functions, right? <laughs> Vinny, are we in the wrong place? It was highlighted, was it not? I'm a little bit confused now. Yeah, suppose we are uh, trying to find someone, and we look over there at the other place, there was also uh, no one waiting for us in the bar, so we're just uh, talking to all the contacts, even if they aren't highlighted ones. Interesting, because the game usually puts these, uh, of course, over there. Yeah, we are here, though, right? Aren't we? Uh, well, we're looking for such a pirate, yes? Maybe their boss, maybe the boss is... Uh uh, <laughs> okay, so we can use any. Oh, okay, that's how we do this. Well, then we can probably go to another pirate base anyhow, couldn't we? 
just uh, to for sh yeah, just for shits and giggles, really. I don't think we have been to system very often, and are not against experimentation. Okay, just talking to a port master. Interesting. <laughs> Ah, uh, weiter wird der Flyback im Vorfall kennen, ob es du kannst in der Video, of course, kann er nicht. Das ist just one job away, any house, I think, wie, okay, I think we take it, it's a lost Astropolis. I suppose if we can try that, offer to sell some information, which is not in a uh, Tritacium space. Ja, yeah, probably, make this a little bit less obvious and transparent. Obwohl die auch, feed wasn't so slow, so what that horrible slow. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Okay, what's on your ship, of course, the first month? Of course, the jump node is extremely far away, but else, where else would it be? Okay, well, so apparently we can talk to every single pop master and every single pirate station. That's what I wasn't really anticipating, because the... Yeah, okay, anyone else there? The corporate trader with fight tech stuff, no doubt. And the hunter heading to the next bounty, because well, the pirates are over the place here. Also, plenty of bounty hunting, of course, really. Okay, uh, the... Okay, interesting. The invasion and space force are outmatched, and the ground forces are evenly matched. Okay, but, uh, we've seen this before, but it wasn't already 100% accurate, right? Okay, um, well, they can find it up that, I suppose, but still. It seems to be it, uh, quite a tough nut to crack for the brightness of all people. They probably shouldn't be fooling away their fleets like this. Uh, there we go, so I thought, and who is, uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Vinny. They have cancelled this on their own, really? Okay, uh, that's, that's nice of them. Apparently they have an, uh, appreciate, or come to appreciate our uh, reputation of the contributions. Okay, well, that's nice, but it wasn't a, yeah, it wasn't a threat that was, okay, they released us from our survey too, that's nice of them, really. Okay, well, I suppose we just knock here, and uh, we just open the directory and talk to the port master. Uh, there we go, so, okay, that's, that seems like the guy who could make us with information. Mm-hmm. Ja, <lacht> and of course, all sorts one is on, by the way, so, this was some repercussions I'm hoping. Of course, it would uh, promise to be quite interesting. Ah, 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 Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, that was one that's on. <laughs> okay, this was funny. Well, we can take a look at the economy of the briefs. That's the yeah, the area. So, okay, well, it's 100 because of the station. And of course, we can talk because our transponder is on. And it's the 100. Okay, what do you have on the ground? I don't see any fences, really. It's very basic. So, we have restoration dogs. Um, well, that's good. Cramp quarters were of course uh, negative growth, but it's not a terrible thing. It's the quality says for already in every orbit station. Low tech, so. Uh, alright, well, that could be interesting. Um, I suppose we can consider our military options, and that we see that we have to fight on the Astropolis, which is an orbit station. And, um. Yeah, we have to fight the station first. <laughs> that would be given the... Okay, that would probably interfere with our plans, even though it probably wouldn't, you know, because they are... So it would be kind of funny, but they even care. Uh, I'm not sure they would care, but okay. <laughs> yeah, we know we just send the information and then immediately uh, against the station and invade it. I mean, we cannot even see if an invasion is allowed, because we have to knock out the orbit station first, but okay. <laughs> well, we can get on and crusade against the um, pirates eventually. We can make that happen, but I'm more interested about the storyline right now. Okay, so we just follow suit here and just make the um, well, logical assumptions that uh, blowing up the station right away after sending the equation for credits is probably not the smartest play. I have been the Brightons for me to take this place, but I've been, I've been surprised before. They managed to launch the colony, it's even level 5 now, or size 5, whatever, it's the same thing, but it isn't not. And Rebellion failed, because we supplied them with items, I guess. Probably. Yeah, we have suppressed them, because we delivered some items, that's good. Yeah, that's why we do it, really. Yeah, 
they knock down one pirate base, they have plenty of pirate bases remaining, of course. And someone else will just jumping through, I believe. Okay, so we open the comment directory and talk to our wow, plenty of friends waiting for us here. Um, okay, is the uh, um, administrator just undergoing the training? Does he, uh, has he learned anything? The person, okay, still tier zero, why do? Um, leave administrator, um, so it takes a bit longer for him to be trained, I suppose. Again, it has to be patient. I thought it was going a bit more quickly than this, but apparently it takes a couple of months. Okay, there we have a couple of officers available for hire, but we cannot have any other officers. I'm sorry, other mercenaries. Yeah. The ruthless blackmailer, but the guy looked the part at least. Can okay, be thankful that we blow up the opposite station below him, underneath his feet. <laughs> yeah, fantastic, right? Is there anyone with any integrity in this sector? Other than maybe not even Galatia, right? Not even the Provost. Oh, it doesn't surprise me really, but still. Yeah, Black Project. I yeah, we know what adventure is, of course. It's an exploration ship for the bit and salvage gantry. I think also Fighter Bay. I'm oh, sorry, we're not the only one we can build in the old home of course. Yeah, so it's sneaky yeah, with uh, insulated engine assembly or whatever. Right, so we have to chase down this elusive uh, venture, I suppose. That's what it boils, uh, boils down to. Uh, if the pay is right, of course, but you have to do at least the one additional favor because nothing is ever easy in this universe. Ja, yeah, okay, aber thanks for die Info. The Miracle hier eben ist der Willing to work with us, but of course we have some reputation as opposed to a crappy one. Oh, uh, also it's supposed to be the populace of the sector way to judge, right? Okay, they have some Marines, I think we take them. Of course, they can get some training because there will be plenty of fighting. And since we're heading into the unknown, maybe just gas up and also get the rest of the supplies. I don't know, it's too right now, as it turns out. Yeah, we haven't been doing any bounties, have we though? So, but he will be earning, earning some money here at the end of the month, so I'm too concerned. I want to go into a down compact to space tracking or whatever, making some uh, heavy machinery. Do we need to run heavy machinery and outfit? I don't think we do, right? Well. So, let's trade this in for a couple of supplies. I think it's a good idea. Okay, and the uh, administrator, we also have to pay, of course. Hopefully, he is training to finish eventually, because now we're heading into the unknown. If we head into the unknown, then obviously it will be some time until we get back here, right? Well. Okay, that's the Freedom Confederacy. It's only the uh, Perseus, right? Well. We can apparently join with them already, because our reputation with the Brightons is. Excellent, and the person league also likes us pretty much. But, um, yeah, okay, they had the hegemony, they had the dictatorship, but the dictatorship is almost gone, we leave, so I guess, I guess. Yeah, okay. I don't think we want to align with anyone, really. I think it's an independent run, right? Okay, so let's just see about our accepted missions, and that's, um, Right, so where did you go to put the pirates around here? But in this case, uh, we uh, will be using too much fuel to keep our core fleet we are back there. So we have to, yeah, we have to go back here anyhow, right? Drop off some stuff here, for instance, the weaponry. I did we should go to this thing here, yeah, we just build a courier port or whatever, the base station. On one end, respectively. Okay, well, so we're talking about independent station, while well, he's gonna do massive the hegemony for a change. Okay, well, so, okay, oh, of course it. <laughs> really? Ah, uh, for the Ludic Church of all people, we have reputation. Ah, uh, whatever. Just whatever, to be honest. I think we have become accustomed to this uh, situation, haven't we? We don't need to go and blow into the race. By the way, back in the day, in my first save game, there was no tribute, that was a new feature implemented. <laughs> yeah, this was not available back then. That's something we had to worry about. But at least can still set down these uh, stations in uh, where other systems claim for some other faction. I'd rather pay the Ludic Church than the person who probably oh, really used that. Oh, for that I didn't even see this because the hut was in the way. So who is that? Uh, but we can maybe um, 
Weil du schon wieder Kehr Boah, das ist eben die Amada. Das heißt, das, der für Bettokeria. Der für uh, Converted. Und das ist das Standard Atlas, das ist eh, äh, Better Cruiser in der Herr für 1, 2, 3, 4 auf die Sphinx und ein couple of the Sphinx und wegen 20 Damage. Okay, wir können accept die Comb Request. Ähm, uh, let's be the last opportunity to use the story point for this to get out of harm's way. But I think you want to see what's going on, right? Du schon weh? Äh, uh, oh, these religious guys. Eben dort ist, it's not the path versus the church, but still. Wish to repent for the path of love. Äh, uh, Widi? I don't think you... Ah. Uh, okay, warum, what do you want from us here? Sister? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Are you crazy? What? What is this? What the heck is this? Um, and this is uh, unexpected, and of course I didn't see that because time progression was on. It came from the south, and it was the hut, and the way other people could have maybe fought in some invasive maneuvers, but now it's too late. Okay, uh, can we even survive here? Maybe have some fighters. Uh, they have some bombers. This is their basic bomber, by the way. The hammer, uh, torpedo. Yeah, it's the Ludic Church and the Ludic Path, right? I don't know if it's good and fit stuff. Yeah, so okay, so level 7 officer, of course, and we have a 6 officer. Level 6, Level 6, Level 6. All of them aggressive or reckless, as you would think. Um, okay, Standard Freda is only for store and the supplies, I guess. So it will be a big, big fight here. Can we carry, uh, take on the battle carrier? I mean, this thing is like a battle cruiser and a large carrier mixed into one. But it's very slow, but it does have some fighters. If a battle cruiser, well, um, uh, I guess we could use a story point for this and avoid the entire problematic situation, maybe. I don't know what it's all about. Why would we... Okay, so there are some nice surprises here all over the place. And okay, these uh, Cerberuses, they have armed. Yes, they have some missiles. But they have which uh, warships actually uh, worry some. Obviously, these two battleships and battle carriers here. And we have a couple of heavy cruisers. And these have uh, 10,000 hood points each. And they have also have a 1,750 armor. And shooting for one of these things is not easy to start out with. We have plenty of fighters. So do they do? But we have then like at least triple the number. And they also have a standard destroyer. 5,000 whole, but no shields, but this is a damper shield, uh, whatever it is. Okay, they bring way too many of these frigates to the fight. Here, these old Cerberuses, but they can swarm us. And they also individually also carry a, uh, I think it is the only ballistic weapon arena missiles. Okay, um, sure. Um, ultimately, they're so dangerous, aren't they? At least they're mass. Yeah, well, if you're careful, you can maybe tackle this. So we move into engage because we don't want to fight the retreating action do we? Well, we do have the firepower, maybe. Good thing we took all of our ships with us for the most part, but I still want to retrieve our drone tenders, right? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, wow, there's a light uh, condor here. The board value well, is not to be discounted, of course. Well, I'm not quite sure, man. I see plenty of, uh, well, mm, this thing alone is probably um, no, not quite, I would think. But it's our rating with that. We have a level 7 officer, incidentally. We have a couple of elite skills. We can see their elite skills from here. And uh, we can see the trace can be do. Actually, we can still. So, uh, minus weapon recoil. That's bad for ballistic weaponry. Against us, of course. Plus capacity. They are very agile with their crappy ships. Okay, they don't have any business. Any business doesn't matter. Yeah, we can fight the retreating action, or we just knock out as many ships as possible and retreat because we only have to... Yeah, we can't even deploy... Oh, on the second floor, we can't even deploy all of our ships because uh, they have the upper hand, right? Oh, no, of course. Uh, so, yeah, that's how the uh, game really punishes you because we have fewer deployment points than they do because technically they have um, more and larger warships. Probably, yeah, past 28%. So, fantastic. So the game puts us in a severe disadvantage because we have it 240 at most. And the one we have 165 because the game hates our fucking guts, doesn't it? I need the heavy warships so we can do without them. Yeah, I'd rather take the radical this thing here. Although, yeah, so let's not take the... Okay, so then we're almost out of um, all these points. Or, uh, the plan points, should, uh, should say, of course, here. So else is coming. Uh, this thing could be a good addition. But we have to capture some of these uh, control points before it's too late, really. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I really don't like this arrangement. The game throws these doomsticks on top of you, and they have the advantage because it's a doomstick, and then, then also you can deploy any ships, really. Why is that? That's probably a stupid gameplay decision more than anything else. Yeah, it's a weird disadvantage. No time's too because they're forcing you into this situation. Yes, I can use the story point, but still, that's just a, a cheap, uh, um, yeah, 
Yeah, no, out of the jail free card, that we really shouldn't be the uh, thing we should be basing this around. It's too bad. Yeah, okay, well, uh, I mean, <laughs> these frigates, uh, they will get blown to variants if we only play one of them. So, so we have to raise to some of these control points, maybe. Okay, we have our heavy warships, except for the uh, Falcon, I guess. So what can we do with that? We have no deployment points ready, like zero available. And they have a fucking battle carrier. Okay, does this give us something? It's uh, bonus deployment points, okay. Now uh, we can try to get over here. I think uh, fighting in the lab is probably not a great idea, but it's a terrible one. Also attach some of these here to uh, as, as escorts, yes. Okay, who is, uh, well, I think um, I could use the escort and you can maybe help out the uh, eradicator. And this thing will probably, um, well, if, if, was, if this one warship, this should uh, stay intact, it's probably this guy. Yeah, okay, and uh, heading over there on yourself, uh, on your own, is probably a stupid plan. So, okay, we keep it with this formation, of course. And is there anyone uh, fast around here? Yeah, what's the top speed? We can maybe still... Yeah, we only need to get uh, to over here and then capture this and after we'll deploy our ships as fast as possible. That's the only requirement we need. You have 107, I think. You're the fastest still, right? Because uh, this thing cannot be expected to... be yeah, okay. Well, we don't have any frigates of us. We go over here and afterwards we uh, go back here, make us as an escort someplace. Hopefully, yeah, we survive the trip. Yeah, 100 deployment points worth of enemy ships, so it's not a, a fixed percentage, I was misremembering. Yeah, we can retreat there, we uh, chase us door. We have to knock out uh, this percentage over here, otherwise it's not working. Of course, they can also take away deployment points from us if they capture this first. Because they're wondering. That's why we should be throwing in these ships as soon as possible. Like this, there's reinforcements. What can we deploy now? We need all these things, to be honest. Okay, there is the... Yeah, this thing needs to come, of course. I don't need the regrets also as well. These ships are free, almost. So they come together with the mule. And then and with the next wave, we uh, deploy all of our frigates if possible. Okay, so uh, we will take this, hopefully. Then we see the first ships already. It seems to be a Cerberus, but we know we have other guys around, of course. Okay, but then we can also say it's a bit more uh, finely here, I'm hoping, right? Okay, and you have the squad number. Oh, of course, I'm not correct. Oh, okay, I didn't set up my hotkeys because you have a new ship in inflammation. Now, can I really change it? Of course. That's unfortunate. Okay, uh, we are already on the way, so this thing can hopefully catch up because we need it, frankly. So, okay, then we have another 20 deployment points. It's excellent. And then the, uh, you will come over here eventually, uh, pretty soon, attach you as an escort, and we just ignore this for now because they can retake it. We need the ships, frankly, don't we? So, what can we deploy? Uh, well, this thing is good against Turbos, I would presume. And also, it's been quite some time since we last saved the game, just occurred to me, right? So, we don't need the tankers. Uh, these are the least of our worries, really. Okay, we have some frigates, or we bring in some heavier warships. I think it's the everything we'll be getting out of the deal here for this entire engagement. So we need to make smart decisions, and I think this thing is really good. We can also run with even more fighters. But we have some officers, right? Okay, anything else? Well, then we just... Yeah, okay, this thing, and then we are completely out. Okay. Hopefully the decision we just made was a good one, because I am not quite sure about this. I'm not so sure about this, but we can maybe lure away some of the uh, smaller warships. That would be a great idea if we can make the seven. But if only five frigates, probably not going to happen. So it will be a tight formation, I think. Yeah, they may be chasing us. Okay, we have a couple of Cerberus, as you say. Even more Cerberus is incoming. Well, mm, that could not be terrible. I think we can maybe give this some consideration. Maybe mess with them a little bit, and then afterwards we see what we can uh, move around here. And since I have the operations center, it shouldn't be too terrible. Yes, of course, the drone tender doesn't stand any chance. Okay, where's the battle carrier? It's probably to the uh, north or west. There's some place I would figure. Yeah, get over here and knock out these things. We have barely any sensor range on these, of course. We need to wait until these slow pokes have uh, moved up, of course. Otherwise, we would be at severest of bumping into battle carrier. And there's a, uh, I think it was a lector, yes. It is indeed a lector. Wow, can we handle a lector with our frigates? I don't think we can. Even it doesn't have any shields. Just have extra that, uh, yeah, so this is not going to work here. Well, we can load a couple of these guys away, not into our uh, slow as carriers, of course, but maybe into our heavier warships, and we're already um, swarming with our fighters. Okay, well, we can make some assumptions, and I think the assumption is that the enemies are over here someplace, so we can uh, maybe move forward like this here, take our carriers, just to make sure that they end up on the front. Lines and of course, somebody isn't really set up uh, with the correct hotkey. Uh, the coop carrier, for instance, so we just uh, uh, make an escort one of those nebula so don't have to babysit the shit. Now, also, recent these orders, of course, and well, then we can maybe fight something here. I think the battle carrier on its own, uh, yeah, we can maybe uh, do, but uh, let's have to wait and see. So, there are some friends, and I see many warships. Okay, that's lovely. 
so they're all coming over here essentially that's lovely okay we knocked out something and now we have minus 20 yeah so of course we deployed all ships already so that gives i guess okay uh the reflector incoming that we have a uh, whatever that is incoming i saw it because it's part of the uh, ludic uh, yeah um, perf enhancement what i ported it with the ships okay and uh you need to probably mop this thing here because now, the care is a bit a problematic situation right now, but if we don't, okay, we try to knock this thing out, and afterwards we uh, see what we can make happen. So, there will be a fleet action, of course. Okay, well, these also need to be rescinded there because otherwise you get people killed. So, any priority targets? Well, uh, this thing, hopefully, we can take off a couple of frigates, and David is in our desk, that thing, of course. Okay, I do get the Legion, but not very often. So, I suppose for now we just uh, try to avoid it, maybe, and then we knock it out. I mean, the fighters, the course, that will be launched eventually. So, fighter strike on some targets. You need to be a fighter target. Um, the Lector, maybe not so much, I'm not sure. Yeah, what do we have in terms of point defenses? Two flag cannons. And of course, they also have some own fighters. Well, it's probably uh, it's a carrier, essentially. It's a cruiser with a carrier. Mm, well, okay, so interesting. Well, uh, we can maybe put up some pressure. At least uh, keep their fighters occupied. The Cerberus are not too concerned about, but they have plenty of these, don't they? So, officers are not too terrible. Officers are really good, as a matter of fact. Yeah, okay, our carriers there are trying to avoid the problematic situation up front, of course. And there's even another one back here. Okay, then we also need a fighter strike on these people. Okay, let's just see uh, what type of damage you can inflict against the uh, ships with only damper shield. That's a good damper shield, I think. Yeah, that's not going to work. We can hope oh, that's not going to work. It's pulling back in, into its formation, which means, of course, we get completely utterly decimated if we need them on the eliminate order. Okay, so we knocked out. Oh, well, this will be an interesting fight here. Probably we'll lose some ships of the entire fleet. But uh, then again, we'll just have to see. We can overwhelm every set of them with our fighters. Because we have plenty of fighters. If there's anything we have in uh, abundance, it's fighters. And bombers. Or maybe just have to make a stand here once more. Yeah, so things already put it back, isn't it? Okay, what's the situation on the southern flank? Uh, we just have a Cerberus someplace. Yeah, keep in information using fleet also good idea, a good idea as you can see. Okay, they're launching some hammers against us, but hammers, uh, unlike some of the other torpedoes, they are not in the Esmeri Sum. Okay, that looks to be a somewhat Alrightish, uh, we have achieved 12% already, and we're trying to knock on some of these other ships. Okay, we have more of these uh, incoming. Yeah, okay, um, did we even get any places with that? Okay, this thing is in the center portion of the formation, of course. So, back here, we have, uh, inflicted some flux, we have inflicted some armor damage, so I don't think we're getting much of the deal, to be honest. That's not going to work, so we reset these orders, because I have six command points, and, uh, yeah, doing away with these orders doesn't even do anything anyhow. Okay, we, do, we cannot focus the entire thing on this stuff, it doesn't make sense, and of course, they have another better cruiser back here. That's lovely, that's fantastic, so, maybe we can focus our attention on these smaller ones, these heavy attack destroyers. They do have, um... They have a hammer barrage, they have like machine guns, so these are not needy as, uh, yeah, dangerous, but okay, I will probably try to get over here, while, so that's a yeah, little bit problematic situation, because my auto has some ideas, otherwise. Oh, this doesn't look very hot here, at least we're trying to keep away from the battle carrier. Let's see the battle carrier, no, not just the battle, because I keep, um, misnaming, for whatever reason. So we're holding on to our dear lives here, really. Who also, also have levels of officers, what else? Yeah, this thing, uh, isolated is not that difficult, but they have plenty of ships on the end. This is very slow, but it's also incoming, you know, so I guess, I guess. Uh, harassing them with all frigates doesn't make a difference, because the formation of theirs is also too tight. So maybe we can get, uh, yeah, and survive. No, getting over the survive, I should say. Okay. Combat readiness is uh, stellar for all the entire fleet for the most part, but still. There's some civilian ships, some military civilian ships. The Cerberus are going down, but of course it's only Cerberus, it's not uh, the other stuff we have to uh, be concerned about. Yes, I was worried about. No, don't do this shit, don't get isolated. We need to um, do something about this, yes. Okay, the formation needs to be a little bit tighter. Otherwise, we have problems like this occurring. So, yeah, pull back in a straight line. Uh, yeah, okay, can we maybe... Hmm, well, okay, if they're a gift chaser, maybe we can make this happen. Maybe? Okay, we tried it, I suppose, and you can do whatever, but as you can see, we need to babysit these idiots, otherwise we have some problems. Okay, and you're trying to do basically, and getting away from that thing would be the uh, answer. Yeah, okay, fleet command, very important this scenario, so we have, <laughs> we have plenty of command points, I don't think we need to be too concerned about that. Are we even making any dents in any of the ships other than the uh, escorts, and we need to knock out the escorts, that can be wrong, but they don't make up for much here in terms of the uh, yeah, strength over there, of course. 
Uh, by the way, just paid their tribute, didn't we? So, oh, I agree to this demand, I should say. Okay, this, yeah, this, uh, I mean, this not, doesn't look too hot here, to be honest. It doesn't look very hot, yeah, if I'm honest, really. Okay, and this thing has uh, 9,502 and 800 armor. So, this is an uh, auxiliary, but a good one. I think it's one of the better variants. And if we had the same officer aboard of this ship here, and of course, this was a level 7 guy, was it not? So, yeah, so, um, we probably have more weapons and more flux capacity. And probably more ordnance points, yeah, did we do, so this is an auxiliary battle cruiser. We have a proper one, pre-collapse, but still. I think he will focus fire on that uh, vehicle anyhow, on that craft or whatever. Yeah, this thing's really slow, it's also very slow, but has uh, plenty of support. Oh, we knock out this guy, and afterwards we head back to the... Oh, okay, oh, of course this fucking thing also gets burned off, doesn't it? Of course it does. Um, that's not good. That's not good. So that's a little bit that we can tackle here, right? That's probably a little bit that we can tackle. Oh, we can't disengage. The Atlas is right on top of us. We can't disengage here because we're knocking out these idiots. Or we can try to return to uh, the southern angle, but it's not going to work, I think. And you are going in the wrong direction, incidentally, right? Okay, then we try to disengage, and then we pull them closer to our battle cruisers because it should be giving... Yeah, you need to be an escort for them. And you were also... I'm my ship, I should say. Of course, we also try to go over here and provide some support in the meantime. But I'm not going to um, this will end very well for you because it's a battle carrier, and we have a very slow dropship, essentially. I'm not quite sure what the uh, cooldown is on this thing here, but we can take it with just a couple of missiles. We need some heavy warships, for instance, that, uh, yeah, that um, also again, this, I think. So, so once I brought this really good for it, it also increases our point with comes over there. Well, uh, lowering the shields is one thing, you know. Okay, then we finally got this fucking shit over here. Finally, we didn't. Oh, we're keeping it busy, but now we have uh, engaged already, right? So we cannot pull back, essentially. So 24% of the progress. We don't have to kill every single living being around here. Possibly, probably also would be good for our reputation, right? Okay, the Atlas is pulled away after losing some frontal armor. We haven't lost any frigates up to this point, I think. Uh, yeah, so don't see much in the way of progress here, to be honest. Uh, we're taking them. Uh, we knocked out a couple of escorts, one by one, but this is all we got off the here, really, up to this point. So what are you shooting at? Not the Atlas, right? You're shooting at some smaller shields, right? Good for you. I can't really zoom out any further, to be honest, it's unfortunate. So I have to go back to the strategic layer here. Oh, it's pulling to the north, really? The one step out back here very badly, I guess. So we have not, uh, so we have not knocked out the armor a little bit. And what's the speed on this mule? It's 71. What's the speed on this thing? It's 51. So you're telling me you can outrun it. The answer is yes, right? We don't want to end up in front of the stupid thing here. Okay, we load away. I think we try that and we just leave that stupid thing for now here. And then, no, we don't do this here. There we go. Excellent. So this thing will be trying to get over here and retake this nerve pool, whatever. But good for it, I should say. This isn't engaging us, I guess, right? So we can then maybe rescind this order. Maybe, uh, and, uh, okay, we're back, uh, by the front is anyway, so we can hopefully do something useful, and then also wave this here, so, our, um, these things are a bit more maneuverable, uh, for now, it should be a good idea. Okay, so I think I need to keep a close watch on this, otherwise we have some problems. And the movie will be able to disengage from hoping. Okay, um... We don't want to chase the, uh, the Atlas Super uh, Freighter here, the convertible one, right? Okay, we also have to keep in mind that this thing could uh, hurt our troop transports because this auxiliary goes in the else, right? Okay, so our view can get out of here, you say. Hopefully, it is the case. Need to move up, you know, because there's some fighters, but it doesn't keep us safe for very long. Mm, yeah, see, 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 that's what I was worried about. Uh, okay, these people, they have to uh, go over here somewhere behind the safety, you know, not in front of it. I really hate this shit here. No, we don't need this. Can you please do it away? Thank you. Get over here, please, because this guy's not on the same hot key. Because I forgot, incidentally. Yeah, move to the safety of the light carrier and the light cruiser. And then we chase. Oh, yeah, let this thing give chase. It will be one of our last things we'll be tackling here, hopefully. We'll have to do it for that matter. Yeah, this thing, one of one for better carrier is probably not a match, essentially. The Radicator versus that thing, probably same story. Yeah, so we've plenty of combat readiness. It's the only saving grace here, as, you, as I can see it. Here's some fighters and uh oh, yeah, we're also trying to pull away and the launch the fighters in the meantime because we have some proper we have some proper uh, hangers on that thing, you know, converted hangers, yes. 
if it wants to give chase, then it can uh, be free to give some chase, right? I don't think it can uh, get our mule even if it's uh, using its burn drive. Okay, what is that here? How did it get behind our formation? I'm not quite sure, but we're launching the fighters and the armor is gone, so I think it will be uh, relatively uh, over for it soon here, right? Okay, then our sense is order, so we don't end up in front lines. So once again, what I'm looking at, so I'm coming around, it's the grading on the shepherd on the frigate, and we have a one, two, three, four, uh, five or six remaining of these things, I believe. That's the super freighter, uh, the converted one, the auxiliary battle cruiser. It has taken some damage on its frontal uh, armor, apparently. Okay, the radicators trying to attack one of those things. That is the um, battle carrier over here, so this is you can see it, right? So, okay, courtesy of some careful maneuvering up front, maybe we can make some progress. Uh, it's only 32 because we need to uh, knock out these heavy warships. That's not getting much of the deal here, really, but I have to babysit all these people with DFD command orders. I'm sorry. So, once the armor is gone, we should be able to shoot for there because these old pre collapsed vessels, these outdated designs are very good. And without the uh, ships important from the Ludic Enhancement Board, uh, the Ludic Charge would have had nothing available except for some combat freighters for the most part. It's <laughs> they are completely defenseless. For the most part, and I think uh, concerning what I've been reading on the forum, uh, they're usually first to fall. The first effect should be eliminated, and I can even see if I am. At least in the vanilla game, you say. Now I should classify. Okay, let's chase them around towards our battle cruiser, ideally. Yeah, this is yeah, okay, fantastic, man. <laughs> yeah, I can get past this armor anyway, so let's not worry about it. Some problems over here, as you can see, no doubt. Okay, uh, while we're disengaging, we're engaging at the same time, and this thing is taking some damage on its engines. I'm so eager to get in range with my, <laughs> with my front of guns here. Well, I'm going to be a match for this thing here. I'm already taking some more damage on that, as you can see. I'm not sure I should be doing this, to be honest. I don't think I should really. Yeah, so okay, our formation has to come a little bit uh, messy here, right? Okay, what can we shoot in the back? What we should be shooting in the back for that matter? I think you should probably finish off this atlas here from the back, and I should probably pull back a little bit of safety of the other guy. We also give them some, yeah, some, we try to do something this year, maybe. So make sure that we don't end up in harm's way, and I really hate this fucking stupid shit here with all of our civilian vessels uh, using this uh, uh, weapon automatically. That really doesn't make a lot of sense. It's very inconvenient. So, okay, uh, this thing is still chasing us. Of course, it has a recharge, but it also knocked out some of its uh, wing armor here, whatever it may be. Yeah, okay, do it a little bit closer, but not too close. Uh, we can chase it around and look at chase if it wants to give chase and so uh, that be my friend, I guess. Okay, uh, can we touch anyone because it's chasing the moon? Is it not? We could probably use some firepower uh, to this angle, I guess. Okay, you are fast, get over here and also let carry about. It can in uh, run interference. It can run interference, I suppose, but we need the help to the south, don't we? I don't think I can tackle this. There's one Nectar gone, two Nectar gone, but uh, none of these really have any. Um, yeah, none of these really have any demos from what I've seen. Yeah, I can shoot for that here, even with my bomb, to have with my bomb, I'm lucky, maybe I can do it. This thing is a gun, we just have to get our better carrier in range. Ah, uh, yeah, better cruiser, better cruiser, this is a better carrier, but we have a better cruiser, of course, or the carrier. Even though we can bounce some things, so that we feel the inclination. Okay, this needs to be rescinded, and it also needs to be rescinded, because otherwise we have some problems, we already have some, some guys right on top of us. Yeah, this is a barrage here, I think. Da we almost in the range of our battle cruiser, so this should be giving us something. And yeah, no, these fucking burns. Please, this is so, this is so ridiculous. Yes, I know the ships are very slow, but still, it's just outrageous. Okay, no, you don't want to chase the mule, I think. Yeah, I see. You don't want to chase it, but whatever. So, okay. But what's that? This is going to be the full attention on something a little bit more usable and also save my bacon, ideally. So, have we finally taken care of this here? We need to knock it out, of course. Yeah, okay, uh, you have ECM, uh, resistance or whatever, why don't you? And this is the battle carrier. So, uh, I suppose it's coming over here anyway, so maybe we can try luck with that. Provide some protection. You should be able to, uh, disengage, right, from this, uh, situation. And of course, one of our frigates is taking some substantial damage. And what's my situation over here? Okay, I'm doing it out with this guy. I don't think I can do it out with that guy. I feel like fight at the same time, but my, uh, wings seem to be depleted, of course. I'm not going to say sustainable, if not survivable situation. Okay, it's almost completely gone. This is basically no whole remaining. So here, well, we need to, yeah, we need to service this other shit is also incoming, of course. Yeah, uh, okay, um. Yeah, we need you against that. But we need to fight uh, this thing at the same time and not to separate. Yeah, someone else can take care of business. I'm hoping. Okay, um, you can come over here. You can uh, do whatever, I think. Yeah, look at this guy here. Be quick, together with your friends. And of course, this thing has seen some problems. Ugh. 
Um, so maybe also a bit uh, too uh, ambitious about this anyhow, right? Okay, Drontin I can't help out right now, and then maybe you can... Yeah, you know, well, you look at this guy, well, we try... Well, we don't want to lose this thing here, ideally, but... Uh, 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 it doesn't work very well, it do. I don't think it does, so you can do whatever the eradicator, and look at this guy right up front, and then we can show this thing will be surviving, because now it won't be surviving. That's lovely, but okay, we could have used the services by the party, I've... There we go. Vinny, what? I beg your fucking pardon? This fucking piece of shit battle carrier here gets on my nerves. So, okay, I wasn't a fan of the fluffy anyway, but still. Okay, this, uh, this, so this thing will be gone now. Then we all we lost all that carrier. And that means, of course, counts against this. I think if the enemy knocks out your ships, you know. Uh, you know what I mean. Okay, for this, actually, as an escort. This thing will come over here. And, oh, uh, yeah, knock out this fucking piece of shit at this. You know, that would be great. Can I even take out this thing? I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna use the ECM frigate. There we go. There's that fucking uh, thing gone. And there's a massive increase, as you can see. Okay, so then, uh, we don't, yeah, we, okay. We, so we resent this order and uh, we use our heavy warships. Uh, well, I'm still busy, of course. So it cannot be me. So what's left here? Can we maybe focus fire on that fucking piece of shit here in the middle? Really brave. So to knock it out of the fucking sky, that would be slow. And of course, this thing has put back to oh, relative safety. That's a bunch of safety here. The man can be an escort and they can focus fire on some of our heavier warships. So I can't deploy anything because I have minus 44 reinforcement points, which is even worse than was before. So okay, you, you need to come a little bit closer because you need to focus fire on that stupid idiot over here, don't we? So okay, let's just move a little bit closer and I will have to direct this once again because I have plenty of command points and I need the uh, support of all these nebulas and troop transporters to take out this thing here and um, inflict in some damage but not need enough damage, you know. Okay, that's a card and unsurprisingly completely blasted. Could have given them a retreat order but uh, would not have mattered anyway. So this thing is damaged. Okay, uh, let's just let it go away, it doesn't make sense here. Get back here. Need to fire for someplace else. Okay, uh, we hate this fucking shit. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. That's bullshit. It's just bullshit, it's burn drive nonsense. Can we maybe knock out this piece of shit already? Come on, guys, come on! Yeah, okay, uh, I can see it is not working. We have to focus on the biggest fighter, but shoot us in the back if we let them, you know, so that's a problem. Basically, no combat right now. Left, of course. Ah, this thing is still alive. We'll continuously uh, focus fire on me, I guess. And we cannot even do anything with that here, apparently. Yeah, we can I even shoot for that armor? I think I can, right? But at least keep it busy. That's something. That's something, at least. Okay, this shit isn't coming. We have some problems because, okay, now we cannot take this. We cannot take this. It needs to be all the target. Forget about the shit here. You focus on that fucking carrier. Um, this thing needs to be. Well, we cannot retreat right now. It's not possible. So you go here, please. You also focus fire on that. Hopefully not via front of armor because we have um, front of guns because we only have point defense. Yeah, we need uh, to focus on uh, the entire aggression. And then we just have to hope that we can keep them busy with some other weaponry. So we send that stupid order because we're not getting anywhere. Because it's super beefy, heavy standard cruiser. Super beefy, of course. And you need to give some room before uh, we bump into that stupid thing. Okay, uh, let's just try to convert in one position. Of course, I can go all the way to map edge. It's, uh, of course, very nice. You need to provide some protection still. Was to no, I think no, why do? Okay, in this case, it may be worth fire, but okay, I need, yeah, these things need to be up front here still, they need to help me out, otherwise we will be ending up dead, and uh, Jimmy started doesn't want to end up dead, right? Okay, so, fantastic. Yes, our mule blasted by this fucking piece of shit thing with its burn drive. We need to pull away. Who's the chasing? I'm actually in the loop, pull away, it's also engaged, so please. Yeah, so they're giving some room because of our aggression, I would presume. Okay, I'm not quite sure how that's going to go here, but at least you can overwhelm it as a... No, not this feed, the other feed, please. Thank you, game. Yeah, of course, Mr. Spam, but also Mr. Spam. May not get up close here, you know, with that thing, but we need to launch our fighters apparently. The battle cruiser gave you an order, I gave you fucking order, get over here, knock out this thing, you know. That would be slow. Condor is still around, of course. Yeah, we have some problems in front though. It's overloaded by something, but hopefully you can recover. Is that step? Yeah, get this, get this better cruiser in range already. That's very important. Yeah, thanks for the information there. Broadside, need a broadside. Hello there. Take this, the brought on the eradicator, with the other way around. I just think it's kind of something. What was this in the video? What, what the heck is going on back there? Are you guys all incompetent? I'm still doing it off that should be with this fucking piece of shit guy around here. 
Oh. Okay, so these are people are way too close for comfort, of course. And we have... Okay, the, the intercept or uh, nebula is didn't they? Or the nebula, back there. Fantastic, okay, so this thing... Yeah, we can never knock them out. We cannot... What's, what's going on back here with this fucking piece of shit? It's still round, weil we at least we're overloading it, so maybe we can knock it out with my fighters and my close range guns and whatever. Even the troop transports back there. Why we could retreat if we want to, but we can not because we are engaged in combat and these people are coming around. So if they have super heavy fucking destroyers, so this is still... This is damaged, it's severely damaged, it's in pristine shape. This thing is still fighting for ever stupid reason. Okay, why we need to knock this out? That's uh, with all the turn, we need to knock it out. And afterwards we see what we can make happen. I'm um, a death wish, apparently. At least focus right here for uh, maybe 10 more seconds. Don't get in, in each other's way. Don't get this fucking thing out over the shields. Come on, guys. You'll be pretty good at that, aren't you? Maybe it's out of missiles because we have this missile pod which fire most of the time, but this time it's not. It's out of ammo, I guess. Put on the pressure, keep on the pressure, don't let it go away. Oh, we cannot, why? Because other people are swarming us from all directions. So I'm still doing off that fucking guy around here. Yeah, what's happening? Did I not <laughs> kill me with this? So I cannot disengage, I would like to help it very badly. I cannot, of course. I could retreat. Then again, uh, okay, um, I suppose why is the shot to help and I'm taking us out for this reason here, I'm not sure. Oh, we had uh, complications all around here, evidently. So let's put him back. Did we even make any damage? Okay, the front arm is a bit damaged. But we cannot keep ignoring the enemies around here, so we have to resist this order, unfortunately. At least with some of them, but you can uh, focus fire on that, so I think it's fine. You're a bit of a bad position. Uh, of course you are. But you will launch your fighters automatically anyway, I think. And you will now provide protection to this guy. You should be focus firing on this uh, automatically, I'm thinking. The other can do whatever. We cannot call in any other ships. So we have to defend ourselves because the people all around, of course, right? And if we don't do anything, yeah. Okay, I'm trying to retreat. I'm not quite sure. At least the face that with our front to shield would be a good idea because usually the strongest one. Yeah, so it's burn driving and maybe we can catch it. Or oh, maybe come back, I'm not quite sure. But he wants to come back for a bench. I'm no, I don't need this shit here, you fucking piece of shit game. No. The baby said, I don't need a mother. We want to focus on this idiot over here if we want to buy it. If I knock it off the bottom sky. At least you keep it busy, right? So can't interfere with our plans to the north. I think, officer, there's a bit more that you could tackle. Yeah, you just get out of here. Otherwise, you're gonna. Okay, uh, we need to roll the shields again, otherwise we cannot inflict any damage on the remaining armor, whatever it may be. But I... Uh, okay, um... Yeah, it's defending itself, also retreating at the same time, so it should be somewhat decent, yes. And this thing is getting more of fighters and bombers, but uh, we still cannot get through it because we need more concentrated firepower to take out the heavy destroyer, I guess. But I want to see this thing going down here, if nothing else. But not at the expense of all of our crew, of course. And uh, we have reached the end of our combat endurance, but the same goes for the enemies, I think, because this thing is, uh... Combat readiness is still 97%, I beg your fucking pardon, how can it be still at 97%? That's, uh, that doesn't make any sense. How in the fucking world do we need to have... Okay, some of our vessels, they also have great combat uh, readiness still, but yeah, regardless. It's, okay, level 7 officers, level 7 officers, okay, uh, it's trying to defend itself kind of frantically, I should say. I want to uh, watch this with thank you game. So, but okay, um... We can keep it busy, so we can interfere with... Uh, yeah, so it's kind of pull away, maybe. We can all burn us, of course. So what's going on back here? Can you take out this, officer? Maybe you can. But our okay, is coming into support here. It's our handy. This thing is still alive, of course. Yeah, it's, uh, we're uh, slowing it down uh, because we keep shooting it uh, with engines and the armor's almost gone around, so I guess I guess. I think this guy is not going to get away. I don't think it's going to get away. Yeah, that's what Christopher gone. That's good to see. Our, our, our eradicator makes itself used for moving. So, uh, front is on the thing only, I think. So, can we finish the job finally? Uh, we seem to be out of our missiles here because it's like 80, but uh, well, we have a very long engagement in our hands here, haven't we? Yeah, okay, um, yeah, obviously it says back here that we have some problems, right? We could have a battle. 
you also don't come rest would probably just retreat to be honest <laughs> because yeah not yeah if you've ended flame out or there something else that uh, would be stupid so okay we've reached the end of our combat endurance some of these warships you don't need this you're engaged in combat you idiot okay anything else you're also available on combat readiness your color combat readiness but uh we this guy's still alive unbelievable I mean, not let it engage the fucking, I mean, you idiots, you fucking piece of shit idiots, you absolute imbeciles. <laughs> you got them fucking idiots. You got them idiots, you got them fucking idiots. You got them idiots, you got them idiots. You got them idiots. You got them fucking idiots. You got them idiots. You got them idiots. I have to babysit everyone in their mother. I have to babysit everyone in their mother. Otherwise, this shit will continue to happen to us here. And is the thing still alive? It's still alive because you can catch it, I guess. Ah, the condor was annoying. Don't get me wrong. But I don't really care about the fucking condor. I care about this guy. Yeah, so a bit frustrating here, evidently, right? And of course, our frigates, they have no hope of uh, meeting this thing in terms of combat readiness. That's not going to work, so I have to defend myself and wait for some reinforcements to be coming in. And you can get over here afterwards the uh, retreat, hopefully, without losing another fucking nebula or something. That's because our people are retarded, right? Yeah, so this happens if your combat race gets way too low. And, uh, okay, can we knock this out finally? So what's your combat readiness? We have taken considerable damage because we have picked a fight we cannot win, I guess. That's fantastic. So, what is the progress? It's very good. Dying. They're fucking dying. <laughs> I'm getting tired of this. Knock them all out, not all out of the fucking sky. <laughs> Knock them out of the fucking sky. You need to avoid the combat. Uh, Fit, of course, afterwards the tree. Yeah, but we cannot call it anything because the enemy has taken control of everything around here. So, wow, um, fantastic. Maybe disengage from this super beefy, powerful warship back there. Yeah, sorry, that's probably not the best action as a fleet commander doing it like this, but uh, I'm getting a little bit annoyed by this shit, you know, and yes, we could have retreated a long time ago, but I didn't want to, uh, because I want to, well, these people deserve to die, frankly, after what happened here. I'm not quite sure what the church was thinking about, but the church has also been picking on our Brighton friends, and I'm not having any more of this bullshit, to be honest. That's not going to happen here. I can get shafted, really. Yeah, we've almost uh, finished this guy as well. There we go. It's finally gone, it's finally gone, and of course you have basically no uh, combat rights or anything like this, you think we'll be out of fight for now. Yeah, you just uh, retreat as well, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> retreat. Uh, then we just again hope that we can do something about the guys in the backpack there, right? Okay, um, so the carrier, okay, so what's the situation? It's almost completely blasted, almost completely blasted, almost completely blasted, but it's relief. That's the relief, it's almost completely blasted. Oh, get in here, knock this out already, come on guys, oh, finally, oh, that's, we have what the relief, the legion is gone. So, everyone will then uh, try to get over here, because you, uh, we need to help, frankly, so get in here, please, knock this shitty thing out. You will be an escort, you launch your, your business or whatever, you also knock this out, oh, okay, that's why we need uh, military ships, by the way, for fleet uh, actions, uh, comparable to this here. So, the condor will be going away, I don't really care about the condor, really. So, alright, so, uh, we lost almost all of our troop carriers, because our people are incompetent. That's the only answer here, really. Okay, so this will be the last thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you shoot the fully recharged, they could maybe contribute to the combat. It's a little bit too dangerous. So what else is in the... Uh, okay, you're still a uh, good fighting shape. I'll get these frigates in here. I don't really care. Knock them all out. <laughs> yeah, we do good over there automatically anyhow, I think. Okay, uh, so you wanted in a large fight on your hands. Here is a large fight on our hands. A very challenging one, incidentally. Yeah, don't let that go to the troop transport, please. That would be stupid. Yeah, so there's the condo, of course. Man, can we not maybe make this happen here, you stupid piece of shit? There we go. You get over here, engage this remaining enemy target, if I have anything to say about that. Yeah, I'm a little bit of a bad ship, uh, am I not? I think all of my missiles are out of ammo, by the way. <laughs> would that be surprising? There we go. Yeah, that was the Christopher White. Fantastic. Okay, so that was the battle fort here, I guess. And they held something in reserve, a super freighter. That's where they store all of their supplies, and some ships retreated. 
we are in a new shape to fight back here, aren't we? I don't think we are, so we just... <laughs> 590 crew, 590 crew, what did we do? Of course, they are still a carrier than the frigate, the combat freighter and the two nebulas. Now, oh, um, basically, have no but we have no combat res left either way, do we? So we just uh, hurry the retreat a little bit, and afterwards, yeah, okay, we rescued uh, 200 something. So, but we have what's recoverable, guess what? Alright, this thing, okay, that's picked up for d board. Compromised tool. The fluffy, I, I don't really care about uh, fluffy, we get other carriers, I'm thinking. Uh, maybe we'll be trying to give this a spin here. So, <laughs> um, okay. Of course, that's a little bit problematic, so okay, all of our nebels have been blown to Marines either in this or in the last episode, so now well, we can maybe try out some of these other vessels here because they don't have any, we are outdated, um, okay, we take it, we can offer them, compromise tool for a week without, that's probably not a good idea, but I think I take this pristine one while we have the opportunity. Okay, the mule was, uh, for the automated systems, compromise tool glitched this. Okay, we built in the convert tanker and the cargo holds, but things completely trashed. Almost completely trashed. Um, but we can get repaired. I think if we leave the ship behind, we regain the um, the experience we built in there, I think. It's how it works. Yeah, okay, but I think uh, we give it a second chance here. Now, not retreating was probably a stupid idea. I should have done this VD. And what's the problem? It's uh, structural damage. Well, exactly what we don't need. This thing is also very slow. I think uh, we report these supplies more than anything else. Anything we want. Uh, maybe try out the Christopher because as we see, this thing is really good. Or at least it can be. I think we probably need more supplies than we carry right now to repair all of our ships with them. Yeah, also structural damage. So, well, okay, they knocked out in light a carrier. The standard carrier, whatever, here seems to be beefy. But of course, it can stand up to one of those better carriers. As you see. Yeah, this is, is my, this thing is a good fit for my tactics, but it's beefy, you know, if we have to face it, it's demonstrated here. So that was probably the primary battle fleet, because these don't have uh, many uh, battle carriers usually, and only other support warships. But these are really good by comparison, right? Well, we structural damage maybe not so much. And we don't really have the money to repair all of them, you know, in the shipyard. <laughs> so. If they're completely trash, then we don't take them. This thing already had a compromised uh, flight decks to begin with, I believe. Yeah, probably. But we can report the weapons that I think, because they are worth some money. Uh, the servos, on the other hand, well, they, I mean, they are cheap, right? Uh, they have no damage. Why don't we take them? We can just use them for uh, ferrying some cargo out, but anything else. And afterwards, we see what we want to keep and what we want to get rid of. Alright, I think we're over uh, selection here. Okay, uh, only three for this and well, that's at least something, I suppose. So we pick for the package and see what we can rip out of here. So we gain another uh, 31 crew and escape pods, and uh, 200 something supplies. Well, we need probably like a thousand just to do all of this here, I'm thinking. Okay, well, lovely. So we had a big fight and uh, avoiding contact, but there's not, <laughs> not much remaining of them here. But we have a safety game at probably one hour, so we should probably do it here. And uh, okay, how many supplies do we need? Let's just take a look. We need uh, 900 supplies to repair all of our ships, rather we move for some of them temporarily. For instance, these don't need to be repaired because they're not of immediate concern. We need to lose the ship yet anyway. Uh, okay, so what's the, uh, the frigates have been taking a beating. Uh, the <laughs> here, our first combat outing already destroyed. Oh, we need to be ready for another fight, don't we? So, at least we need to repair some ships. That's pretty much a given here. Oh, everyone has performed exceptionally, for the most part. And, uh, oh boy, okay, so, oh, well, hopefully the Sankers will be remembered, yes? Okay, and uh, hostile, of course it was hostile. Um, evidently it was, yeah, thanks for the minor game. Yeah, well, uh, we need to call it some port. Uh, undergo some repairs. Unexplored, really? Unexplored? Oh, it's back here, then. <laughs> That's not a friendly pot, is it, though? Oh, of course, yeah, that fucking stop. Of course, that fucking stop. But let me get this fire base. Uh, actually, no, there's a Reuter uh, stationed back here somewhere. No, the path, really. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Ludic path. Okay, well, uh, the Ludic path. I know, yeah, it's a base. Really, in the course systems, there's a fucking base in here. Pursuing a uh, righteous flotilla. Well, that seems to be some Tratanke and friends. Well, they, uh, well, we're not doing good. <laughs> Well, okay, we looked in here, I suppose. Uh, what else can I say, Vidi? I think the hegemony has problems with us right away, so it's quite a military shipyard because it well, needs repairs, don't we? And what are you doing, you piece of shit? <laughs> you don't have time for this nonsense. And also activate the transponder, by the way, because there's some hegemony friends, and also uh, get the forge online. 
Uh, well, yes, we could maybe use some of these suggestions. Yeah, whole integrity. Oh, you read my thoughts, apparently. Okay, uh, that was uh, quite something, wasn't it? Um, oh, because of the fucking Corona. Oh no. Oh, you have to be kidding with this. Do I have to babysit everyone and their mother? Well, at least it was only a Cerberus, wasn't it? I think it was only Cerberus. Yeah, so a good riddance, I'd say. Of course, there were uh, at least a couple of people over here. Well, are we going to keep it? That's the thing. It's like a burn drive. It's not terrible by the counts. Peak performance is decent. It's more just decent. I think this could serve as a stopgap rule. I suppose just repair them here. And then we swap them into our fleet because it was uh, some ships, of course. At least nothing of too much importance. I think it was only the direction of any way. Okay, let's get in here, get to the shipyard. Get us up, get some supplies. Does anyone else want a piece of the action? Hopefully not. Okay, there we go. So it should give us plenty more money, hopefully. Yeah, so I guess it's kind of useful, right? Now we're just waiting for our growth to occur eventually. I can occur up multiple expense station projects at the same time. So, okay, what's going on back here? Uh, 40,000 and uh, terraforming is still ongoing, I believe, but I can see it from back here. Also, information isn't available. So, we're waiting for growth so I can set in the heavy industries, for instance. Uh, that would be great. I cannot uh, increase any fashion. That's all you get here, by the way, in the vanilla game. So, three more structures and that's it. Bigger Rock is also doing quite well by comparison. Yeah, we invest money in the Megapod, of course, to increase accessibility. Yeah, imagine going with a smaller fleet. It would have been absolutely shredded. We had to use a, a story point to avoid this engagement with the cheap way of doing things. But the game really likes to throw these uh, super beefy uh, doom sacks on top of your ride, as you have just seen. Once more, I should say. Okay, we need all the supplies, of course. We need all the fuel. We don't have the money, of course, right now. Uh, well, we could sell some heavy ornaments. Okay, metal. Whatever, get rid of the metal, please. Yeah, what else can we... Why do we have so many of this? Uh, of course, it's illegal to trade on the open market, but not illegal on the uh, military market, I believe. But we need for ground invasions, you know. But these are not that easy to come by the comparison. Okay, we need some supplies, though. Uh, I think that would be a good idea. For hand is time, because we need them, frankly. Okay, so we're looking at the farm about That's great, I guess. Okay, so we have very too many weapons, but then again, these don't sell for anything. So, okay, let's take a look at the fleet, maybe. Maybe something we can trade in, for instance. So we lost the light carrier. Now we don't want carrier, which had a thing for wider base. Uh, okay, well, uh, great, fantastic. And of course, we don't have any... Yeah, so we didn't lose any marines, so did we? No, we didn't lose any marines, but we lost plenty of crew. And now, well, um, okay, another troop carrier would be a good idea somewhere, eventually. But uh, the moment we have other priorities, don't we? Yeah, we get 30,000 for that stuff. Okay, then we... Well, selling ships doesn't make sense, but we have plenty of weapons so we can outfit them. It is was a relatively decent vessel, if I don't recall uh, incorrectly. Oh, sorry, that's a simple way of saying things. You know what I mean? So this thing is a top speed of um, 143, so it's very beefy. Probably on pump that here. Sure, why not? We can give a spin. And for the Cerberus, we just apply a template. I think it's fine. So it's an outdated destroyer, but it does have the adapt ability. It's something I wanted to try as my personal vessel anyway. So, okay, this will be. Uh. Ludic Misgivings, I guess. Or something like this. Okay, Ludic Misgivings. And then we hand, hit enter and equip this properly. There should be some templates because me porting this meant that I have these templates set up properly for every single vehicle, every single variant because I'm a perfectionist, apparently. It took a long time, of course, but okay, what do we have available? Um, we don't touch anything from the market. Instead, we just uh, take whatever we have in our inventory. So, okay, um, standard is. A nine liter rocket launcher, mm, hammer torpedo times two, I think. I'm not sure which one they brought to the fight. I think this was the uh, one we faced for the most part, right? Okay, we have an also chain gun, medium ballistic, okay. Um, heavy armor, of course. Though I think by the whole integrity could be better, but uh, otherwise it's very really decent ball accounts, I'm thinking. Yeah, we have 15, okay. I suppose we try that. We have plenty of weapons in our cargo at least. Okay, we're looking at a couple of pre collapse <laughs> Essentially, this is just yeah, fantastic, right? Okay, so let's take a look at these. Um, we are free. Um, you have to, maybe some purpose, but they're not exactly all that great, are they? But I don't think they have much. Uh, we have cargo capacity, anyhow. Well, let's see what can make happen. Rail construction, insert engine assembly, heavy armor. So, okay, they're very really decent if they use the mass, I think. Yeah, what's your. I think it was the standard variant anyway, right? With the heavy armor. They shouldn't use this picture, it's just stuff in the game does for whatever reason. Okay, um. Yeah, what's our armor rating? It's... Well, it doesn't last very long, com very long combat, I'm thinking, but uh, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Okay, um, temperance. Yeah, bad temper. <laughs> and bad temper, because I have bad temper of what happened here. Yeah, 
Ich mir das Auto refit, aber ich finde es fein. Ja, what a date, my friends. What a date. No, I'm not sure, but the last vessel should be named us, but uh Yeah, because that's what the server is all about here. Really. But it's not the uh, gender uh, variant. I mean, we don't get, um, actually do still get shield cargo, which is interesting. So, rail construction, which also explains why they didn't pack up too many debuts. Right, okay, we need some uh, support eventually, but for now we can only do so much. We can barely supply the fleet we have, you know. Okay, competent these uh, nebulas was necessary, but uh, that also means, of course, we are down. I think uh, three fighter base in total. Actually, five, right? Because they also lost our fluffy. And I don't think I will be replacing the fluffy, to be honest. Yes, more repairs. It's just one supply, but still. Okay, but we don't have the money to do anything right away. So have to wait for um, the uh, heat to turn out a little bit right. Okay, well, then we get back there and see what's going on. This was only three points of uh, yeah, reputation loss. Not that Jimmy Stardust really cares about this, to be honest. Okay, so then uh, finally can we get over here. And once again, I wasn't able to see this because it was at the bottom on the screen, right? So <laughs> I can see some bright ships around. Why don't we take a look at the brief because we took it from the pirates, especially for them. Yeah, specifically for them. So we have some Reuters, okay. I should see burn because I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Right, okay, our new ships of course also picked up their own uh, trades, right? I suppose since we're here, we talk and uh, yeah, we touch base rebe if it's the same goes. Yeah, okay, so uh, yeah, what's going on? Hopefully you can uh, you can do something with this place. Yes, okay, everything has been repaired and growth has been stabilized. They also assigned their own governor. We can actually see his trade surprise in them. So they don't have anything except for some Reuter drives, and otherwise we're looking at the uh, recent unrest. Invasion and rebellion, but I think it's stabilizing eventually, right? Of course, we can maybe spare some uh, heavy armaments here while we're in the area. I think we just talk to the portmaster again. Uh, relief package, really. Uh, but we don't have that. So, what gives I guess? Uh, only with the who cares, then we move on with our Mary Vase here and try to avoid another doomstick being thrown on top of us. Yeah, not so what the hedge money is so helping and taking them out. Maybe the art war again could be. Uh, I've lost track to be honest, there's so much going on here at the same time. And apparently our Ludic and Church and Vegas they also have a green engine exhaust. Okay. Oh, these fucking storms. These fucking storms. Okay, now the special task group, the hedge money, and we are looking at uh one onslaught, uh, elite variety, regular onslaught, and I'll be looking at a fleet uh, tanker, replenishment ship, another replenishment ship, and missile uh, cruiser. I fully take out, of course, with few put in. Yeah, so we don't want to mess with this. It says danger level 3, but uh, we will be wiping, <laughs> yeah, we will be wiped off the map, of course. Okay, what did we came here for? I think it was, uh, yeah, talking to a contact here in the bar someplace, right? Or the, uh, this person, interesting. Okay, that was the um, weapon researcher, I remember now. Sorry, so much was going on with the Ludic fleet, of course. Oh, by the. Ja, Transport and Salvage. <lacht> äh, ja, wow. Hm. She already knows, so just that pretend otherwise, right? Ah, oh, apparently, she doesn't really need it. That's good. That also means that she's more likely to spill the beans. <laughs> yeah, oh, favorite. I know that feeling, ma'am. I can relate. Yeah, I can relate. Now, I can't make any promises that we can return the venture intact, you know, after what happened, so. Yeah, in one piece, that's. <laughs> Oh, why did that? That is not terrible, but it's very slow and unmanoeuvrable as we've seen against the pirates. So, yeah, by fighting the pirates, of course. Yeah, the black side is in the outskirts someplace, I'm sure. Right before I research and all the other lovely stuff. Oh. Oh, we have the Marines, we have heavy armaments. Uh, we need, of course, to get us at least a two more troop transport. Uh, another fighter, mm, yeah, carrier maybe someplace. So, okay, we can venture into the unknown here right away. I mean, we can try that if it's too far away, but still. You can just be confident. 
Could just be confident. Hmm. Probably is this same ability we learned at one stage. Right, thank you, thank you, and of course we have to go to the system, and let me guess the system will be very far away, would presume. Why, why do we have to continue to repair our ships here, game? That's the thing I want to know. Okay, at the moment, well, we destroyed a couple of ships, and there's a civilian freighter, that's for all the modifications, of course. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> well, we need to be patient, we can afford one ship, but uh, going with these nebulas again is probably a bit desperate, is it not? Okay, it's an independent world, so they have a section of a couple of ships, also repair those, incidentally. Yeah, well, um, well, we don't have to, well, we could, but we need the ships, don't we? Okay, let's see if it's actually located. It's probably, oh, it's actually relatively close to home, in which case we probably go there, pick up our ships, and then think uh, we can make something happen with that, right? Okay, over here somewhere. Oh, right. So, well, um, of course, this... <laughs> Uh, are we going to sneaky fleet? Well, that's the question, friends. Um, right, then we see Ludic Church military base. After what happened here, I'm not quite sure that will be too inclined, but it was also the um, origin, right? Was it not? Well, okay, well, for now we just go over here, uh, yeah, go to our base, and let's see what they can make happen because um, <laughs> I have salvage yards here. What's this all about? Okay, um, we need the mods between some holes. Alright, well, um, okay, we don't really worry about this right now, I think it's a bit, uh, we're a little bit pressed for time, aren't we? So, okay, let's just set to our base here and see what we can make happen. We can also maybe call in some of the other, uh, we need. took it over from the Tritekin Corporation, I guess. Ah, uh, whatever, here, so on the way on jump point, we call these planets and see if there's something offer that will be to our liking, because uh, by the time we get there, should have been a route over already. Right, a good job there, Junkyard, guys. Not going to the pirate station, but I can assure you there are at least the five more to go, and we have to come back and defend our station, you know. And also our system, incidentally, because there will be more friends around, and without any industry shots, we can even set down a yeah, military base, for instance, which would improve. Yeah, we need heavy industry, we need to install the forge, finally, and also the commerce center, but of course, growth is not very fast in this place, you know. Yeah, okay, what's going on here? We have an invasion fleet from the Ludic Church with another battle carrier. Another Atlas, so it was just the default fleet composition, I guess. Oh, lovely. Okay, we have been severely weakened, but uh, making some salvage in the meantime. So, okay, who's defending? Who's attacking? Tech Yorans probably doesn't have the upper hand, but they have uh, high uh, tech ships, you know. But we can take a look at this and watch, I suppose. Uh, this place will be in turmoil, wouldn't it? Yeah, recent address, evasion, bombardment, pirate activity, rebellion against Ludic Church. Considering what we've seen, I would probably also be up in rebellion. Yeah, so now we have only these crappy things to look at back here. That's lovely, much obliged, yeah, you idiots. And of course, uh, there should be in the system, but... Okay, I think we just see what we can scavenge because we need some ships, don't we? And there should be something floating through space eventually. Even if it's a high risk of... Oh, this is a better carrier. For instance, I think we, I mean, what is it all about here? Uh, what the demons for that matter? So, point defense AI, of course, yes. My function comes, increase maintenance and great life support. So, when it comes to the uh, actual boom boom stuff, it's still good fighting shape. It's also 50, uh, well, high tech. It's high tech, yes. We can just sell it for parts, I suppose. We don't actually have to invest any maintenance, I believe. Yeah, it says uh, to repair, that's why we don't even repair anything if we just uh, move it right away. Yeah, we can just move forward right away and make our decision later on a massive problem because this thing is probably going to be a drain on resources. And then all to get us, I suppose to take it. It is a gunship before, yeah, before the uh, fucking uh, vultures get here, of course. Yeah, I don't really care about losses right now <laughs> when it comes to machinery. Yeah, so they knocked them out of the sky, didn't they? That's all that's left their special task group and they have not suffered anything. I don't even see a single Cerberus missing, but it's again, I was auto resolved, I think. So we don't know exactly what was going on. And if we have the machinery, okay, whatever. And then there's a ship floating through space, which is a tiny gunship, so we also scrapped it apart. So we got a better carry out of the deal, but these things are really, uh, yeah, really synergizing very well with us here, PD. Okay, and then we get the drone tender out of the deal. Can we recover this? Without any, we can indeed. Well, this thing may be worth holding on to. We just have to wait and see. So we'll recover and move immediately. We can also sell it. You know, we get some money out of the deal instead of nothing. And what do you bring to the table? So it's a high-tech ship, of course. We're looking at a 30 maintenance. Front shield only. It has uh, two bit in fighter wings, apparently. Interesting. Okay, anything else? There's a battle carry another one, BD. Okay. The function comes increased maintenance. Well, we can offset this at least. Okay, that's generous. I don't think I want to have these slow-ass uh, battle carriers in my fleet, but it's worth looking at here regardless, is it not? It's probably the better variant, right? Also in terms of the mods. But it's also increased maintenance. <laughs> We have one more, though, right? The great life support. Well, crew requirements are pretty high already, not including our fighter losses. 
Why is this omniscient? Because it's a Tritechium vessel. Now we can try to give it the efficiency of a hole as an option. They didn't lose the single ship, did they do? I don't think they did. They also left the drum behind for us with some fuel inside the pooping. That seems trash, to scrap it. Get the salvage, and the fuel was important. They was only a couple of really engaged in battle. And they're also moving in, assisting a righteous flotilla. Well, nothing is really righteous about this entire thing from what I've seen. You cannot fool it when we start this that easily. Yeah, if we interdict uh, someone else, it causes no hostile action by the bank, as they're wondering. Uh, so they have, a, they have a phase transport remaining. That's all they have left here in terms of fighting vehicles. With two frigates, uh, despite the demons, that's not going to work. For them. Yeah, that's the Buffalo drifting away. Yeah, this is the attack on variable, doesn't matter because we don't want to spend a story point or recovering this thing anyhow, do we? So, and they have a one Buffalo left and two tiny frigates, and they're engaging uh, a couple of combat mutes. <laughs> there we go, completely annihilated, right? Completely annihilated. So, uh, goodbye to the attack, of course, they have plenty of reserves. But so does the loading charge, of course. Well, 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 fantastic. Okay, so it was worth checking out after all, as it turns out. And we call at uh, one of the other places here first. Our station, maybe the gas train is, of course, um, yeah, okay. There's a shipyard, we'll just uh, see what's going on back there. Oh, we did some salvage. Hopefully, this is really slow right now because we carry these battle ships around. Oh, there was plenty of salvage, yes, I agree with that. <laughs> okay, what's this all about here, my friend? And once again, we don't add our medium cruiser. Oh, yeah, actually. Uh, yeah, well, okay, the. Mm, yeah, I think it's a better trade off. Oh, really? Oh, no, the emergency button. I didn't want to click this. I want to click. Yeah, disable. <laughs> uh, yeah, disable. Um, I don't know what I mean. Don't drive. But okay, then we burn some fuel here unnecessarily. So, okay, this light carrier. That could be good fit for our Fontana, for instance. If it's recoverable, of course. But it's, uh, it's for automated subsystems. And once again, we're integrate life support. Okay, what you bring to the table, you obviously are a, uh, yeah, nine VD. I think the fluffy is the better idea, and also has barely any, okay, that's not a good trade-off, barely has anything really to go for it, at least we're a bit for parts. Okay, well, plenty of salvage, because there's plenty of, yeah, if you're so insistent about this game, okay, we do get another light carry of the deer, if you want to, but we don't. Yeah, but we don't have the logistics, uh, available to field all these uh, super heavy, yeah, nothing of value, <laughs> yeah, we, uh, to feed all these uh, super heavy carriers, and no, it doesn't work very well. Um, set fast pick about this is not blasting us, of course, as a Cerberus. Okay, that was probably also the short design, and it is, and so much going on at the left of the screen. You know what's else going on? Bounties, bounties, and uh, three days. And they're fed with their invasion, I guess. Okay, but they were beaten, apparently. Ja, so they're chasing uh, die drei Kekken guys around. It is a face cruiser even. It's probably super expensive to operate, so we don't need to take a look at it. I think we've seen it before and ruled it out. Yeah, so okay. <laughs> face cruiser. Okay, we need a plate of salvage. We can sell that something, I suppose. So it's a kite. Really? What type of kite? It's a uh, crappy one. I'm not quite sure who, who would have feared. It's probably the. Yeah, it was probably the uh, church, right? Okay, all the stuff here, please. And anything else? <laughs> I guess the even more stuff floating for space. Another one of these. Uh, uh, some we can strip for parts. I think it's alright, as long as we don't have to use any story points. No. So it was probably coming here. Now we have not one, not three, but actually three battle carriers. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, so apparently the loading enhancement board uh, putting some of the ships as a uh, video of the loading church. Yeah, evidently. Well, at least we got here before the vultures did. Maybe we have a free cover of ships. <laughs> well, we don't get the remains of the attack and fleet, of course. And even more ships around here, what's that? The Vultures. Okay, that's a fast carry. And of course, they will have dips on it first. Yeah, so the fucking Vultures, they got here before we did. Okay, that's a face destroyer. Of course, they will be within the range, right? Wouldn't they? No, not still, because it's a small flotilla. Okay, there's so they have a limited range. After all, it turns out it's nice. Uh, okay, anything else? So, I was combat free down. It's probably the loading charge where you go. And you can see even more stuff back here. Okay, but it's this? We need to jettison something eventually. But at the moment, we're relatively close to port, so I don't really worry about the supply consumption as much. Yeah, it's our siphon gas station. And then we see a drum and another like carrier. Alright, can we recover it? I don't think it would be worth recovering. No, it's the same type because it's not like going. Apparently, we lost their high tech and un yeah, unmaintainable vessels, we believe. Especially in the hands of an uh, independent guy like we are. And we can find some stuff, we can find all the stuff. Oh, the junkyard dogs want a piece of the action. Oh, is there anything back here? Let's just see a game, right? Apparently, we did get one meter of the deer, but it was lovely. Okay, special task group engaging Barra Station. What is Barra Station? I think it's. Oh, no, really. So, it, 
Sperre Station, Sperre Shipyard. Und mein Wort ist going on hier. Das ist kein. Ja, okay, so chaotic. Das sind der Okay. Äh, Prepare for Bato Tote, that's good for you. Wir auch sind jetzt zum Börsen, der okay. Äh, fantastic. Ähm, um, sure. Das means more savage for us, I guess. So, what are fighting? Who's fighting? The savage is awaiting, of course, as we are. Doing <laughs> engagement battle with a tanker. Ah, oh, okay. Wollt just moving to scavenge the relic ship? We did plenty of that stuff already by friends. I don't know if our friends, of course. Ja, und wir haben das Cerberus. Ja, der Relay hat very heavily on the combat freighters. Not very well, but okay, we take it. And I think... So they knocked out the shipyard at least. This was on orbital station. All right, I'm not going to we can advance store land today then because so much is going on right, as you can see evidently. So we also need to pick up our drone tenders. And we still short one better carrier, or at least some sort of carrier, but we have three to choose from right now, can we not? So okay, let's just see what we can... Um, yeah, do away with right away here. Okay, we don't need ship components, for instance, all that metal, and we have way too much stuff here anyway. Plenty of weapons, and so on so we get that here. But it was certainly lucrative coming here, was it not? Is it access? No, there's not. Just stop it all here, we don't really care. Easy money as the same goes, and the weapons we can put in temporary storage. Okay, we need to gear up properly, otherwise. Okay, well, um, buying a carrier probably would be more expensive than just using the one we have temporarily. We can try to give it the efficiency overall, and since they blast some ships to bits with the. Yeah, okay, that's not very appreciated, is it though? Okay, they do have a fast carrier. This is a pirate design. This is right carrier, though. It doesn't set up to any punishment, really. Uh, well, okay, that's something we could consider, maybe, but it's also too pricey, but we could wait another month for the one to, I want to, uh, get rid of the, uh, ships if we don't need, and then also investigate also the storyline, but getting over here with our current fleet, well, we can comport, I suppose. Yeah, we could comport, okay, but I don't see anything that is particularly useful, maybe... Nothing like this is really important, but we could use another troop transport, and this thing has increased maintenance, which, which for an episode doesn't matter, really. Oh, we know where it is, it's right next door, essentially. So let's just also look at the station before it gets blown to some Marines. But I take on the lines are usually not worth investigating because even the gunships are too expensive. Yeah, so we have, uh, we have like three of these right now. Uh, unbelievable, man. Okay, these things are, have a super large profile, of course, also in terms of logistics, so it gives, I guess. And apparently, they don't want to sell us a nebulas unless our reputation is uh, welcoming, and we have a commission. Why do I don't understand? <laughs> Okay, but well, we go back to port and see what we can do because it's been going on here for quite a long time. Also, uh, yeah, plenty of things to do and I'm, uh, once again I find myself a little bit exhausted as a consequence, right? Okay, then, uh, sure. Well, okay, at least I leave our station alone because we're paying tribute, I guess. Okay, our uh, fleets are still crappy because we don't have anything down below that could count as, yeah, um, military installation or in a proper shipyard. <laughs> so, okay. And of course, uh, they also want to create a rebellion and to seeing things and probably will be uh, doing so successfully, I think, right? Okay, this is another um, alliance that has been formed at one stage, and it's an alliance between the Carters, the Junkyard Dogs, and the Ludic Church. And the Ludic Church is the uh, largest member, of course, and we could join theoretically. Really, but I don't, once again, so many chances doesn't want to do this, really. I mean, so many things going on, and apparently it is also that super dangerous remnant ray going on, because, yeah, it's that stage of the late game here, right? Okay, <laughs> that's another reason to finally take a look at some of the storylines, but okay, now if we talk, if we see what's going on for our ships here, very brief, and then, uh, actually, no. We, we ignore the ships for now, and what we do take a look at is our combat uh, history, because some of our ships that have been lost in battle, some of those ships that have been with us for quite a long time, and frankly speaking, we need to uh, pay them some respects, right, for instance, the Nebulas, even though the Nebulas was never considered to be a combat vessel. Yeah, so six assists and 16 battles. <laughs> but of course, uh, we flew too close into one of those Sebastians, and we are destroyed, essentially, because we were stupid. But I um, suppose we did uh, pay a useful role here after all, right? Okay, this thing was uh, breaking apart in uh, hyperspace. <laughs> But we didn't notice, right? Okay, also 16 battles, but we have not a single assist in our name here. That's a little bit unfortunate, right? But I think the other name was with us for quite a long time. Probably has a better track record. Yeah, 8 assists. Even against some relatively decent pirate vessels. We assist against the hammerhead and one of those things. That's really good. The sunburn, yes. Alright, well, um, congratulations. I think it was Piri, so I did not misspell it, did I do? Yeah, so unfortunately, uh, we lost like a 400 crew in this other engagement alone. But uh, what gives I guess it's a uh, hard life out here. Okay, that the fleet carrier was, of course, <laughs> well, it uh, didn't even destroy a single vessel. The only thing it did was to um, run interference on the, uh, yeah, was it again, yeah, the battle carrier, right, and lost, yeah, the Legion. Otherwise, we knocked up some pirates, I suppose. And we also have a kill in, into our name here, a claim it is on the orbital station. Man could have been worse, could have been better, but it's one of those uh, better ships we encountered, so I don't regret picking it up, at least outfitting it. I think we scavenged it someplace, didn't we? Probably, yeah. <laughs> Any uh, other casualties? I think some of ships there were almost, uh, yeah, very close to being blown to Marines. And this thing we recovered, of course, but it's still very useful. Uh, but other than just picking up the demon along the way. 
yeah, recovered once. Three kills, disabled of course, by that in Legion of All Things, but it was disabled, not destroyed, so we don't have to pay as much as sort of maintenance. Yeah, so let's see about our ships here and the other engagements. So we have six kills in our name because the ship wasn't with us full type essentially, but we knocked out the Legion, I guess, needs to have an assist claim. And we destroyed apparently three of those Cerberuses. Oh, good job, I guess. And the missile pod is eight kills. <laughs> Also claim on the Legion and the Atlas, incidentally. And things are really good, as it turns out, who knew? We have also claim on that, uh, on that Legion. Who is it? I want to know. It's not the Eradicator. Yeah, also not you. You is here. Who has a claim on that Legion? What's the uh, kill? Yeah, we still gave ship A to see that really. That's a bit strange. Uh, we didn't move by any ships that we do. And it's, uh... Yeah, this assist not a kill. Maybe we have a shared assist and not a kill, then as a consequence, but we shouldn't be the case because other people can uh, fire on the orbital station, for instance. Okay, maybe the battle lock could give us a better opportunity. Or we can look at our officers because they can also, yeah, I see. Uh, who is the kill on that thing? The claim even. That's a bit strange, of course, as I've mentioned at the very start of the Let's Play, uh, some of these statistics, they aren't 100% accurate because it was, you know, uh, implemented afterwards as part of a mod, and sometimes it's just aren't that accurate, but uh, someone should have a kill on this, to be honest. <laughs> the claim even. Yeah, that's really strange, maybe it's a shared kill, and no one had the killing blow, but it doesn't make any sense because he saw it, you know, someone blew up this thing, and uh, you can tell it was a renegade, a missile, there's some place fired by uh, someone without... So it's just a share kill, essentially. Why? Because I can only see assists on these guys. That's really strange. <laughs> That's a little bit odd. Okay, we had to dismiss some officers, of course. Oh, interesting. I have 16 kills to my name. Uh, some of which, I think, most of which were actually achieved by me piloting my ships personally. And the other 55 assists, they're probably just uh, using my fighters on autopilot. Yeah, so, um, of course, I'm the highest level because I'm not level capped, evidently. Well, I'm level capped at 15, but uh, I still gain story points afterwards. Or at least the, yeah, the story points, of course. Okay, our most uh, competent officer is the asteroid guy, apparently. We deployed him in 55 battles, and he has destroyed uh, 22 ships and uh, damaged 85 ones. Well, okay, he rammed them for the most part, I think. Yeah, nice one's already stored in here. We can always come back and look at Okay, let's uh, take a look at the battles here, the last one. Yeah, we can also look for deployment points and the point looting charge, even though we only for the ones. Okay, <laughs> they are uh, uh, position number four here, apparently. Well, good for them. It was a victory, yes, but at what cost? Yeah, so okay, we knocked out uh, three Christophers, I think, and one retreat, I believe. Or we covered, I'm not sure, and then this thing was blasted. Yeah, the battle uh, cruiser was blasted, and uh, 11 officers were killed in action. No good riddance here, I'd say. Yeah, I'm not quite sure who has the kill on that thing, to be honest. It must be a shared one by consequence. Or maybe just don't get to see it. But ultimately, yeah, so 16% uh, something of the deployed forces were lost. And considering that we were at a severe disadvantage, we did by all accounts. That's, uh, yeah, so we had uh, 23 ships, they had 24, but all of them on their side were militarized for the most part. And we were making do uh, with um, naval as ever in the back here. Yeah, some support vessels. I mean, this support uh, our heavy warships don't get me wrong, but still, I think we have a disadvantage. Oh, good riddance, I'd say good riddance indeed, and it was going on for quite a long time, so I don't think we can really take the rest of the storyline today, even though I would be very intrigued to make this happen, but we cannot, you know. So, okay, then we have these things in storage, so I will figure out something in between episodes, or I just you now show it as start of next episode if we do it together, because it could be fun, at least for one of those things. Uh, so, okay, <laughs> Drotan is essentially also a carrier, you know, just built in uh, wings, essentially. This I did built in, so we have an engagement rate of 6,000. These are high-tech drones, but we don't have to uh, pay the maintenance individually. And getting this thing restored would probably be rather pricey, and it would be. Now, compromise tool for carriers not terrible. Unreliable subsystem in the radio fuel injectors probably not good because it should throw uh, your fuel like crazy. Yeah, probably. At least you don't have to worry about uh, these ordnance points because these are built in permanently, of course. Okay, what uh, do we bring to have actually? So we have a large missile hard point because it's a battle carrier. Then it's an energy turret, energy short times two. These are medium and large respectively, and they do come with a large mm -hmm, interesting. But well, we can probably make ourselves one and one only. And we can repair all the weapons and we pick up whatever we have in our storage uh, holds anyway, right? Probably not all large, but we can mount some smaller ones in here. Not all the time, but sometimes you do can make this happen. So, okay, some hammer repeater, probably from Dolling Church, really. Nothing in the back except some small energy turrets, but I do have Omni Shields, right? I do have Omni Shields. Okay, ultimately, I think that's all we can do today, so you should think of watching, and I hope to see you next time.